Hello everybody, welcome to um, the third round match of CCL Season 38 Playoffs. We've got Luminous versus Le Marseillais. And it is a high elf mirror, isn't that something to see in the chalice? Very rare. In the booth we have Purple Chest, Muppet Pac-Man and Elk Meme. Hello. 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 So, who's got the team? Yeah, so Luminous is 100 TV down. He has got a extra Shiny apple. flashlights. Go fuck yourself. Thanks, Fault Force. Uh, <laughs> I might just get rid of the SFX. Um, so, yeah, loads of bludge for Le Marcelo here. An Anch 5, Russell Stripper, a Mighty Blow Tackler, and a Garda, an actual Guard you player. Cats like a mongoose, though. They're very rare in this game, so keep an eye out on that one Guard guy. He's yeah. going to do a lot. Yeah, Luminous has no god whatsoever. He's got a strength four friends here, a wrestle tackle leaper, um, a tackle mighty blower, a move up, move down catcher. <laughs> so he's a bit rubbish. And uh, yeah, there you go. These are the teams. Do you think the apple was better than two babes in this match? I always prefer an apple, probably, yeah. Because just the fact you can apple a KO so he, he never goes out, you know, like if you, if you take a turn one KO. You can you can use your apple on that because you've got a free one, and you know that can make a much bigger difference than than babes ever could. Oh, wow, a movement four lineman, that's amazing. <laughs> it's pretty incredible. <laughs> he stands up and can move one square as an elf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. So yeah, it's it's an interesting one. I think most people have picked Luminous to win this, but um, it'll be interesting. <laughs> Steve Marty with the emote spam. <laughs> I think uh, Lamar's team is less beat up, less apart from obviously the movement four guy. But there's a lot of random stat busts around the uh, Luminous's build. Yeah, I, th I think I like Le Marcelet's team better, to be honest. Yes, I mean, I, I think the reason I predicted uh, Luminous for this was I just felt he coached slightly better in the games I've seen. But I'm yeah. not a huge, I don't, I don't know a lot about either coach. There's the uh, Agile Leap man with strip ball, he can always be at issue. Yeah, there he does have sure hands on his carrier, does uh, Luminous, but it's also a minus move. <laughs> <laughs> so not an ideal, and he's got a Rackler as well. So yeah, I'd, I think I'd definitely like Le Marcelet's team more, especially as Luminous hasn't got the wizard, right? If It wouldn't have been worth having this much of a better team if you were giving away a wizard, probably. The yeah. Apple, I think, it makes it a lot yeah. closer. Something interesting to note as well, there's no throwers in this game. The uh, High Elves don't like their throwers. Yeah. They're completely useless. But other than that, <laughs> great piece. Yeah. I mean, they're not that useful as a leader caddy because uh, high elves get reasonably cheap rerolls as it is. You don't really want to be throwing the ball if you can possibly avoid it in any type of blood bowl. But um, you know, if you are going to throw the ball as high elves, then you can do it just as effectively with a a catcher because that extra move will make up usually for the lack of pass. Absolutely. And the one thing they can do, I mean, safe throw is fairly useful at times, particularly against other elves, but less so against, um, obviously, basher teams. Yeah. And yes, Natari, I will be coming back to play Blood Bowl 2 in the next week, so I've got a four-game halfling team to, uh, to start playing again. And uh, this weekend is actually pretty much all the games, uh, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. That is where all of the third round games are on, and there's WrestleMania on as well with JFW. So, like, once all of that's over with, um, then yes, that will be free. He's gonna have to actually play Blood Bowl. Yes, <laughs> tragically, though, no, it's been enjoyable. The flings have been enjoyable, so it'll be has been right. fun to watch as well. The uh, oh. flings, good. You should do what I do, Jim. I've put a, a reward on my uh, my Twitch channel that's Twitch. Uh, dot tv forward slash purple chest um which uh, people can uh, can ask me to review one of their replays mm. oh that's a really Again, good idea i should a, a do a way that. of generating content without actually playing blood <laughs> where should you do that <laughs> <laughs> people might want to get some insight 
Uh, and I'm sure you would be the same as me. I mean, when you're looking at someone's replay, you're you're trying to help them. It's not a, like we would in a chalice cast. You know, it's not. Oh, that was terrible. Ha ha ha. Um, it's okay. Well, have you thought about this? Or you know, what could you do there? Or well, like this. You know, it's it's trying to be trying to look at what they are doing well. I understand what it is, mate. What I'm saying is, I can do that. And I'm saying, well, do I we also do don't that? talk about that people in the chalice. No, I'm just clarifying out because some people think, oh, the last thing I want is you know the people that that talk about the chalice, you know, looking at my replay. Yeah. I'm not at that level. Well, it's, that's not what it's about. It's a different thing. I mean, you know, making your three pluses, two pluses is just basic, basic blood bowl. Oh, thank you, Fault Force. That's very nice. Oh, thanks, Fault Force. Best mod in the chat. Isn't he just, yeah. And also, uh, under that, in my About section, you'll find links to the uh, the Fumble podcast. The current episode features us chatting with Jimmy Fantastic. Oh, he's that. Glorious. In the, uh, the Fumble podcast gang. And, uh, and we're hoping to get another one in the can over this weekend. Hopefully featuring uh, Toxic Showboater Kevin PTK. Big Kev k himself. Big Kev himself. So oh, now it's going to be an today. hour and a half of uncomfortableness as he cries about how terrible I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't be nothing like that. Yeah, I, th I honestly, I think the best way to do Blood Bowl analysis is uh, in depth on one or two turns as opposed to an entire game. Of course you can, Volt. Um, pop on my channel, buy yourself a view my replay, and we'll fix up a time and have a look at a game anytime. Mm. You must have enough chest hairs by now. <laughs> yeah, you've got to collect your chest hairs. And, keep and they are officially staying chest hairs. Oh. I like it. I find it funny. Yeah, it's that's cool. all that matters in life. If it amuses you, then it's good enough for me. Mm. I think if I called them nipples, despite the fact they look like nipples, that probably wouldn't go down well with the Twitch. No, nipples are banned. Nipples are banned. Now, while we've got, um, you know, some uh, some experts in Blood Bowl and Elp Meme in the booth, what do we think of the strength for taking Frenzy? Don't. All due respect, is Muppet considered a Blood Bowl expert? <laughs> I was just joking, Elp. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst we have four people to give opinions, what do we think of the strength for with Frenzy? I never hate <laughs> Frenzy, but like, it just means he won't be hitting when you want him to hit, because he's got Frenzy, he can Frenzy drop himself. Yeah, but then you've got the Mighty Blow for like the, uh, what's it called? For like, is it hitting? A, yeah, attrition hits. Yeah. Frenzy's another tool in your arsenal. It is, and it's a, I mean, it's a very useful tool, keeps the sidelines honest. Yeah. But it does mean you can't get that non-assisted two die hits, uh, which can be really useful to elf positioning as well. So there's a, there's that's what I'm saying is that I think there's real ups and downs to it. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a lot more down now. He's a movement six that makes it a lot less. Um, I don't know if he got moon busted before he got frenzy or not, but yeah, it's, it's not uh, it's not so good without the movement. But I mean, it's, yeah. it's all right, isn't it? It's all right. I don't hate frenzy. Yeah, because of the rest of the team, it works out. Mm -hmm. And as a blodge stepper, of course, you know, if you do slurp with them, you don't even need to move them off the edge necessarily. Yeah, it's nice with a blodge step, yeah. yeah. And I've obviously still stroke four. So even if he does get hit on the edge, he's probably getting one dice. Mm. I've had a strength four friends here before um, in high elves, and I think it's all right. I think it's alright, I think it adds a lot, there's all sorts you can do with it, I just also think it takes some stuff away, that's... But yes, I mean, particularly with another Blitzer with Mighty Blow, you know, another hitting option, um, yeah. I think it does, it, it takes less away, if you see what I mean. Yes, yeah. But it still means you can't do that unassisted to die, which I, I do love being able to do with a strength. Yeah, aura. if you get walled off by, say, dwarfs, and can't get an assisting because you don't have guard... Having movement four is amazing. Uh, strength four, I mean, is amazing. Or it's going to leave your your assist, you know, right under the gun of a couple of um, couple of evil mighty blows. Evil dwarfs. That's a bit of humour from Jimmy there. If you didn't catch that, guys. What? Evil dwarfs. Is that humour? Was it? I wouldn't call it. Humor. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like you said it as a bit of humour. 
don't know. That's just being Those funny boys. <laughs> just being a prick. <laughs> just being a prick. <laughs> I, I personally helped thought he was at, at the very start of the sentence thinking he was going to do a golem impression and then just backed out at the last minute. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does he say evil dwarfs? Is this? He says nasty little hobbits. Is. Nasty hobbits, nasty hobbits. Oh, this God, peace. Doing great. Obscura in his soon telling us, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You're quoting incorrectly. There was actually a pause. Full pause. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Franklin, unless you're paying equity rates, that's all you're going to get. <laughs> yep. Maybe you can pay some chest hairs to get more out of him. <laughs> we have dwarves in the backfield of the opposing... Not dwarves, but dwarves. elves. <laughs> in the backfield of the opposing yeah. elf coach. Those dwarves are scary, aren't they? Oh, maybe he should... No, I guess that's good. Maybe he should... No. Yeah, I was thinking of the both down. But... How about... Oh. <laughs> Keep him where he is. But... I guess just dodge away is fine too. Yeah, he's got tackle, like, freeing him up is... Hmm... Yeah, that's probably right, isn't it? So he's got some backfield pressure. So backfield I guess that bandits. Means... <laughs> Make this game not last as long. So now I guess the high elves have got to move up a little bit. 62% of the audience, 62% in favour of the game ending in under two hours from the start time of 1736. <laughs> <laughs> We're now 11 minutes in. We're on turn three, actually. It could be something to that. We'll wait and see how it unfolds at half time, maybe. Have a look back at that. Luminous's turns are taking a lot longer than Le is, aren't they? No, no, we're going. We've no got problem. a plain mind. Well, as I hear it, Luminous is um, a luminary of that, uh, that fantastic and world renowned institution, Rebel, isn't it? Yes. That's what I hear, too. <laughs> so uh, perhaps used to slightly longer. On his turns. Yes. Uh, hello, throw. His turns aren't turns, more leisurely jaunts into decision making. <laughs> I, wonder, I would love to watch him in uh, actual CCL in the two minutes to see what he does in there. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you start a turn, you want to go off and make a cup of tea and a sandwich and then come back and coach. <laughs> Good job, that thing. Uh, hello, throw. Yes, we'll probably do some among us um, after WrestleMania, before the other WrestleMania. In between WrestleManias, <laughs> I think. But so, I've, you know, about half ten or eleven ish UK time, I would think. And maybe before WrestleMania, depends when this game finishes. I mean, uh, if this finishes at like half seven or seven ish, then there's, well, even half seven, right? There's still an hour and a half. So, yeah, probably about. That's a, that's a bit optimistic, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> half eight. If this finishes today. Mm. Um, Luminous is hitting the uh, AV busted piece though, AV7. If uh, this AV finishes today, Purple Chest might finish that sentence because the excitement will have stopped. <laughs> no, some things are best left hanging for people to fill in the joke themselves. No, I will help the audience on their way. <laughs> help is nothing but a helper. Yeah. You say something help like. For help. I mean, you've got three different experts here giving opinions, then I don't need to say and help, because the audience finishes that themselves. Then why did you say and help? <laughs> I'm explaining the basis of humour to you. <laughs> you you did exactly what you're saying you wouldn't do. I know, which is the, the joy of the unexpected, another <laughs> type of humour. <laughs> Makes it up. Well rescued, well rescued, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. This is a bit, uh, Lucia, I guess he's got these in front of her, so it doesn't matter. And I warn you, this joke only works usually after about five others, but it reminds me of my favourite ever joke in terms of the joy of the unexpected. Um, ask me if I'm an orange. Are you an orange? No. <laughs> <laughs> got baited into that one, Jim, we all saw it coming. Yeah. Yeah, Expecting but it only works comedy. on the back of five or six genuine jokes with real punchlines, obviously. <laughs> and then you come in with that and kill a crowd. Well, there you go. I wonder if uh, he'll go for the ball here. 
He's got the wackler. He's got quite a good screen on the front. But yeah, he's, the got, back. he's got both tacklers back there. He's only got two tacklers on his team and they're both around the ball. Yep. So it's probably a bad time to go for the balls. Yes, yeah, it's stopping those dodges in, isn't it? I mean, there are still ways and means, but it's it's about trying to create the right opportunities using the dice at the right time. I mean, <laughs> you probably rowdily send the edge in, but it's not really doing anything. <laughs> yeah, don't really like exposing the armor seven if you don't have to. I mean, it is a lineman. I guess he doesn't really care about him. He's got bludge. No, sorry, no, I meant this catcher. This okay. sidestep catcher, yeah. Yeah, he does. No, the have lineman next to him is also on the seven. So. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, but fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the linemen, like, the linemen are expendable, aren't they? No matter what. Well, not, not the guard one so much. So he's got the guard, the catchers, and the blitzers are the only players he cares about, isn't it? Oh, I am we've got a blitz! I quite like this blitz. Well. This is what I was thinking. Blitz him and then he's defenceless. And you can get yep. your, from your catchers back in front of him. I quite like this blitz. Get them back protected. Do you still leave one maybe at the back to the threaten a bit? Or? Nah, I'd, I'd pull him back. I mean, pull. this guy could have gone around the other side anyway, but... Uh, I like getting him in the back now. Yeah, you can just leave that guy out there on his own. Yeah, I like that. I like it. And obviously this is where the strength four can be good. He can just blitz the guy to the side on his own. He doesn't need an assist. But the frenzy sort of stops that. Yeah. The yin and yang of the frenzy. <laughs> That's exactly yes. perfect. <laughs> Fucking help. Rowdy base there. Rowdy. Yes, he's going to base the other side as well. Right? Yeah, okay. Nice. Good, enough. Good enough. I like I like that shape with the last one in as well. Those uh, those elves are corralled quite nicely. Oh, Got the yes. R, the big R going on, isn't there? Fantastic shape. Perhaps uh, an insult to be taken from that. <laughs> Absolutely, Rat and Blue, yeah. Part one of JFW Mania tonight. In, on, in merely three hours. What's going on here? I don't get it. I don't get it. I think we might just be reinforcing where we are, but slightly forwards. Um, but that strength piece basing has confused me, so let's see what the plan is there. Yes, I'm co also confused. Yep. Double pushes. Didn't expect that blitz. No. This game did start early, yes, some guy, 1 1 3. <laughs> uh, but it'll probably seem... still end at the same time, so. Doesn't seem to create a lot of space. Um, isn't a piece I was particularly interested in removing, so, I'm, yeah. Mm. Interesting. Throik doing his best Kingslayer impression. Uh, PC, are we still podcasting tonight? Uh, Any time. I mean, I'm free from now, Throik. <laughs> He's supposed to ask Jimmy to tell Throik. <laughs> I do have the chat up, I just hadn't seen that. Oh, dear. But yes, I have no other commitments. I mean, I'm, I'm commentating this game, but I'd drop it in a hot second for a date with you. <laughs> Yeah, hope does have that effect on people. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you say game, I was just uh, having a bit of reflection about this is more an abstract form of waterboarding, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of the, um... Oh, no, I can't make that joke. <laughs> no, don't. Please don't. <laughs> I do think it's quite impressive, Elp, that considering that a, as a commentary set, we often plumb some depths that perhaps we ought not to go to. Um, you've managed in just a couple of uh, couple of commentaries to uh, to really lower that bar. Well, you have to lower the bar so the industry standard is at a level that I find bearable. <laughs> <laughs> 
be the change you want to see. <laughs> it's okay. People like okay, so I, the bar, you know? I guess the point with the strength four pushing it up forwards there was... Um, if you don't because it's a large it, step, it, it is quite hard to deal with. Yeah, yeah, you can step to the side and net. Now you've got a two dice next turn, I guess, to get through. Yeah, I mean, if he does put one right on the edge to make sure he's got two die on it, then he needs the pow. So that would probably have to be the blitz. Um, we did have the uh, tackle mighty blow. Could have reached. Yeah, I know, I, and I, I think that might have been something I would have done, but. Instead, yeah. he's, I mean, he's still keeping that wall in, isn't he? He's still keeping them hemmed up into that little corner. Yeah. I kind of didn't like that bit. I would have rather gone for the uh, the defenceless dude in front of him. That also gets you follow up hits on him as well, doesn't it? Yep. He's going in. He's going in? Oh, shit. Okay, well, no, this doesn't work if you want to go in hard like he's going in hard. It's in, it's in the guard, isn't it? And if you're going in, go in hard. Yeah, don't oh, yeah. half-arse it. Full-arse it. <laughs> well, I mean, he's at the point here where even if it, it doesn't work and against Elves there's a reasonable chance it won't, um, it's going to force the other team to, to maybe score early, which uh, is, is great for you. And if not, there's an enormous amount of hitting will have to get done just to clear a space where they're uh, they're not under any threat. So I don't I don't hate it. Oh, he's got, oh, oh, he's got uses his Dauntless, gets a full-on pow. Well, there we are. That's how you deal with that. I mean, I suppose the wrestle piece, even if it was a one die, it's not, uh, it's not shit and wrong, is it? Mm. It wasn't. But... That AV7 piece has been more useful than you thought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cheeky darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's not so bad if you type it, is it? You know, you let people <laughs> conjure up their own things. Yes. Yes, the class, learning of uh, learning from PC already. <laughs> um, Elpit's actually on Cuba, not off the coast. It's not on an island. Are you sure? No. Yes. What gamer? Let me have a look <laughs> at this. I'm gonna fact check that. Feel free. Back with <laughs> I will come back with an apology if it's due. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you never think of that place as a as land. I always thought it was an island, like a, a reinvigoration of the um. Hmm. The San secret, Quentin. if you remember the, the Quentin, name, the second Quentin word is bay and not island. That's well, right. is that? <laughs> but you have bays on islands. You know, just just gonna put that out there. Only Do you have bays on bay. islands? Bay is not not. I repeat, not. Strictly limited to big lands. In the middle of the Atlantic, we don't call it Ascension Bay. We tend to call that one Ascension Island. But does Ascension Island have a bay? I'm sure it has several. <laughs> Jesus. <fucking> Point made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> I can well, feel we have to fill out a time when this is just... Stood here for two minutes. Oh, this is great. We're at a really interesting point in the game. For some reason, we're talking about other things, though. Oh, we're moving now. We've got a plan. Yeah, here we go. I, I think we might see the withdrawal. I don't think he wants to push forward and score this early. I think, I think sure it's very it's hard if it does push yeah. forward to, to defend. So, yeah. so Nash team push, get rid of the guard? Yep. Yeah. I think he's clearing out his back door. Uh, and then he's going to come out the rear. And also KO for his troubles. Yeah. So, so this was the uh, bad thing about this is giving up all these hits. Mm -hmm. Indeed, yeah, for like not a, a non-obvious gain. <laughs> but... Well, it's destroyed the stability of the position to some degree. There's um, there's at least three elves trapped at the front side, isn't there, with the uh, with the other team in the front and the back of them. That's true. Yeah, so they are pretty. It might be hard to recover those into into stabilising the ball when you do run out off. But we just saw powers and we'll be fine. Yeah, powers. Powers always do good things. Yeah, rolling powers is a pretty good idea. Uh -huh. Can't argue with that strategy. And this other catcher does have side steps, so if he doesn't power it down, could be a bit of trouble. And actually, with the uh, with the amount of powers we've got, we can we can stabilize where we are, can't we? Yeah, I think we'll be fine now. Yeah, I guess. There's a little bit of danger if that uh, that strength four goes down again, but other than that, uh, I think like 
I guess, yeah, I guess from the ball. I was thinking if uh, he sidesteps in, we can still hit with tackle. So yeah, I think we're, we're yeah we're pulling back behind the. Uh, but now he can't hit that sidestep, can he? Rear part of the team. No. Yeah, this is weird because now this guy is very dangerous, isn't he? I would have liked to hit the sidestep first. If we got power, we're good. If not, we got a tackle hit with the uh, catcher who just moved. I mean, I'd have thought one step further back from there might be useful. Particularly as that catcher has tackle. You've only got to cancel the ones that are on its right side as we're looking. And a 3 plus 2 plus does that from the guy on the line that's trapped on the edge, for example. Um, and then you've got two die to clear the one defending the ball yeah. uh, to the top left of it, the uh, the northwest position. And then you can get in and, and hit the ball. And even if he somehow makes this harder, at the moment we've got a 2 plus GFI from the line, man. And then a 2 plus leap to just get the ball. And if he... Which is why that fella had to move, I think. Yeah, because yeah. that secures it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a yeah, lot better. Because otherwise the guard was droppable in, and then you'd definitely have had the two die. Yeah, yeah that wasn't easy. Even on a push, you just needed to risk the uh, the three plus two plus first. Yeah. But oh. with the watch, that's a one in nine followed by a one in thirty six. It was very easy. Does he stick in a reroll here? He's got three. I he would. Does. I would. It's like ten five. Losing one move on. Because that wrestle around the back was still an option, wasn't it? Yeah. And now it isn't. Yeah. Here we may see this one guard being like the winner of this high of mirror. Maybe. You can certainly now, do there are some, uh, there are some saucy chains on here. I think you can get the tackle. No, you can get the um, the catcher on the ball if you choose to. And get an easy one die. I'm not sure how I can get two. But this, uh, the one just in front of the one that's just moved. Yep, here's the chain. Mm -hmm. Chain is on. Where it's built first. No, no, it's not on. Because they uh, powered it and didn't you take the push, you can't yep. do it. But he freed his guard up. Yeah, I'd have been very tempted by the push there, because like I said, then there was a very sexy chain on. Oh, one in nine. We can take it, he's got another hit. Oh, we will. Well, remember, these are first half re-rolls as well, so... But he had, an, he had another hit, so I don't know why. Because he hasn't blitzed yet, and this again clears a route through to the ball, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, one dice. Yeah, but with tackle, that's that's a five plus. Or well, we could leap. We could leap over for the assist. It's only a two plus. And the fail state. Yes, we could. And the fail state isn't that ter terrible. And we just one dice that. We goes in for the pow. Good man. Getting it done here. Oh, oh you'd have to see had that go wrong. Not that big a problem. Yeah, he's still in a strong position. Picks up, runs away, nice, so easy. Yeah, Couldn't follow there, of course, because the fend. Uh, he's in the way of his guy picking up and running away, though. No? Yeah, yeah so had had to had to dodge afterwards. I mean, even here, like. Oh yes, now he is. Yeah, even more so, isn't he? That's a good point. I'm sure, he's going to run back into like a a pseudo cage, I guess. Oh, yeah, he could come back, he's got plenty of time. I mean, he, he, yeah, it's, it's, it's not entirely terrible. The cage he's built for himself to, if he does, snip this ball up with his plus AG, which of course he does, it's two plus. Yep. Yeah, I liked that turn, I thought that was, uh, that was well done. That one guard piece is just a hero. Yeah, cheeky eye kid with the guard. And uh, thank you, Skura, I replied. And, uh, yes, Squirrel and hello, Ansi. So, I mean, this isn't really defended at all, is it? But he can't get 2D because he hasn't got any guard of his own. Which but it's just on a wrestler, problem. so on a buff down, it's fine. No matter what he pits with. And he's got a rackle right there anyway. So. Yeah. Um, the rackle's probably best. But... It like, doesn't no, he could just my bullet. 
Yeah. The the guard the guard does mean that he can't hit from the better direction, which would have just been directly below, wouldn't it, to push him out? So he it's can't going towards. Do... Well, you could could you come round the back with the uh, record. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess you could come around the back and push him there. That might work. It's still better than going towards the enemy team, I guess. Hmm. Can chain out. I mean, not really. Mongoose is loose, that would be very tricky. Indeed. But yeah, I quite like this run around. Oh, he could. Just put him in there, run around, and then put push bits from this oh. direction so you push him to there. Yeah. Yeah, and then the push gives him a two dice. Or oh, he. Never mind. Just, just, rolls the power. just rolls the power. <laughs> he just copies the other high off team, rolls power. Well, he didn't even have a dodge. He didn't even dodge on him, did he? So it's no, not exciting really saying he rolls the power. He was going to roll the power. Yep. But he could have made yeah. it to guys if he came on nah. the back and got a push. Overrated, really, isn't it? And now, of course, this is open for the uh, strength four to go and pick up the ball and get in a cage. So do you think are we, are we looking at a perfect eight turn stall here? Do you think? <laughs> Maybe I don't like this position either. If he'd been one to the left, he could make a cage. Now he's not making cage with this guy. So this is uh, weird. Is he just screening off or just basing? You know, base. Hook, hook, base, base, base. This won't fail. Hi, Mama. Wait. He can still <laughs> make him. Just <laughs> make it all right. Screen. Yeah, I mean, you could do something. I don't know, I think it was better just making a cage. Yeah. Like, you could have just made a cage by going one across. Oh god, he's not picking up the strength four. Oh lord. Oh lord. <laughs> I really like picking up the strength four. Oh, wrestle here? Yeah, wrestle down. Why, why didn't he fucking choose the pal? Because he doesn't have tackle when he has dodge. Yeah, but that's better than getting fucking wrestled down. Fuck uh, the enemy that? has less movement now, though, and you can go up with the move with the eight movement. That's and, fucking uh... horrible. I fucking hate this turn. <laughs> I fucking hate sure. it. That you should take solace in the fact that it's close to being over. <laughs> Playing him in a game, Muppet, doesn't make them the enemy. <laughs> oh, he won in nine. Oh well, yeah, so I in... guess he was going to hand off to the catcher and run down the run down here. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. It, I think it was. It was about reducing the movement to counter what he planned for later yeah. in the turn. Yuck. I still don't hate it, though. It's still just a fucking 2 plus to get out, isn't it? Yuck. Oh. Ugh. Yuck. Okay, you didn't like Quay's position. Did end up catching the ball, though. <laughs> he did. <laughs> but, but um... He's defenseless, so it's not hard to knock him down. Yeah, this could be good for... Le Marseille. <laughs> Le Marseille. A la chasse de Ongun. <laughs> we are turned six. <laughs> Upon him, he has ball again. <laughs> Not uh, how you say. Uh, I do. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Unrated. Not how you say. <laughs> this is no problem. So, the pattern problem. Not racist, by the way. <laughs> Why didn't he do that hit? Just fucking hit with a guard and then turn yeah, the ball. It was a guard. What the fuck are you bloody doing? I don't know what's going on, Jim. Help me. Neither do I. Neither does Le Marcelle. Ha ha ha. Is he looking for the mighty blow hit, maybe? I think he probably was, yeah. He's probably being a silly, greedy bastard. <laughs> Trying to hit with the. Uh, you know, it's fair enough, right? Because he, he is defenseless, so you want to hit with block instead of wrestle, so you can knock him down. And then you and want to hit with mighty the, blow uh, instead of knocking him down. Magic guy right back. Can pick up the ball if it's in a tackle zone or something. Yep. <laughs> C'est le moment de vérité! 
yeah, picks the person. It means he does have to go in with a wrestler. Which is not ideal, because, you know, he'd have liked to have passed with him, wouldn't he? He would have liked to have passed with him to the, uh, to the tackler here, who would have then bezed off, couldn't he? And because he didn't knock him down, this uh, rackle is stuck. He can't come and get the ball. He does have any good recovery pieces if he knocks this down, actually. Yeah, maybe he just does the 3 plus 2 plus to hit with a line off. I mean, that increases that, that makes the whole thing a lot deadlier, doesn't it, if he can do it? Mm -hmm. He's not. I didn't hit that. I probably wouldn't have done it myself, but I quite like it looking at it now to just run there 2D and then you've got the edge 5 recovery and yep. pass and run away. He doesn't need to wrestle though, so that's good. He also had strip ball, yeah, so even a push was good. Yep. Oh, not a hundred percent sure of. Okay, that's because he was going to pick up with the AG. Yeah. I worried about following up. I thought the uh, the catcher was going to come and do the pick up and run away, but. No, I don't think he has any better that. recovery than that. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? But I think he should have stood people up though if he's uh, doing this. Yeah, he should have stood this guy up. This catcher could should, could just stand up. He's not going anywhere, is he? Not doing anything. Um. The other catcher. Oh, okay, he is. I mean, it means these two are based on the floor, but... I mean, doesn't he need to be on the other side of them to stop them <laughs> moving, really? Yeah, he's got up there. Make two dice, Jim. We need to make two dice. Yeah, get to power. Power people. Bash all men's. He's not done the bashing part well, though. <laughs> Uh, Pedro Jank, that might be your opinion. Um, I haven't seen anything I thought was terribly wrong from either coach so far. I think no, it's been reasonably yeah. well coached. Yeah. There may be a few, like, um, uh, do things earlier than other things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, one of the things with elves is they're much harder to say what's 100% right and wrong because until you see the whole turn and what they've got in mind, elves always have so many options compared to bash teams who often really don't. Yeah, exactly. Nothing I'd really say is wrong here. It's hard to say no. anything wrong, isn't it? It's Very there's, tough. There's so many, so many pros and cons of various courses of action. You could be taking these a big wank. Okay, Pedro. <laughs> yeah, but the way you said it all, moment. you made it rough if you got like a wrestle down or if you had to strip or you had no really recovery. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm going to bow to your experience there, Pedro. That's not a that's not a thing I've done with Le Marseille. <laughs> yeah. Yes, table leg followed swiftly by uninstalling that's and never playing on. again. <laughs> I think Bubble Two is the game I've uninstalled and reinstalled most out of like every game. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, the never playing again part, you've just got to nail that bit up it and you'll, yeah, be, bit you'll be the best. <laughs> it always sucks me back in. <laughs> like, oh, I miss sucking off people's heels. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so, yeah, he can get a 2D here, can't he? Um, yep. With this square. And you can get there, but there's a tackler in the way, so his tackle now suddenly becomes looks quite very nice, doesn't it? Having that tackle. Yeah, he there. set it up before the pickup as well. Right? He had this in mind all the time. Yep. There's a weird flex, FD. Very weird flex. <laughs> <laughs> Not something to be proud of, I think. Doesn't earn you any favours around these parts. <laughs> Fine with me, FD. I, you will not find me saying that Blood Bowl is terrible or I hate it. I love it and I enjoy it. And that's why I play it. Yeah. But, you know, your mileage may vary. I also, I just recommend taking a break when you think you need one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Truly was Pedro. Pedro, as someone that took a break for two years and came back, I can absolutely say that you are playing the best way. <laughs> we got weak. I mean, that's one thing I don't do, is I, I don't make myself play when I'm not in the mood to. Dude, um, why don't you make that 2D, honestly? Oh, that was, yeah. Yeah. 
got a two plus damage. I mean, I know the guard made one of the squares you'd want to hit from tougher to get to, but there were others. Yeah. He, he could have even just leaped there, stopped, and then blitzed with the guy on the floor. Yeah. That's a bit of adversity, this fella. If, if he wanted to use the leap so badly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's really no excuse for not making it 2D, I don't think. I mean, with Rackel, it's... I mean, your odds aren't terrible of that one die working, but they're so much better with two. He doesn't have dodge, he only has block, so... Yep, and he's got wrestle, so it doesn't matter if you're hitting him. Well, I guess. No, no, he's got block, he's a blitzer. He's got block. Oh, yeah, he's got block. Yeah, he's, he's got, got rack uh, uh, block wrestle, yes. Yeah, I didn't notice at first as well. I can't tell who the blitzes are and who the line are. Yeah. It's a 2000 UTC table leg. If you put your mouse over the muppy, the blitzers under the name have the word blitzer. <laughs> that's that's how what I find helps. But then I have to click on stuff. I don't want to imagine, imagine not memorising the player models. Oh, no. <laughs> Indeed so... it is, Ducky. Sure, yes, thank you, table leg. Yep. Oh, do you know what time it starts? The uh, the lesser show. <laughs> what, why are we hitting with God? I thought we were putting God in. Glorious. You've got a match you've got a match on Saturday, by the way, today, table leg, second match of the night versus Goliath Games. Oh. In a, in a, You're right, Ducky, this is um Compared to what we were expecting, this has flashed well, by. Jimmy was talking to yeah. table leg there. We don't interrupt that. <laughs> Rainer has pre preference. Massive, massive preference. <laughs> In a nod to King Kong versus Godzilla, we've got Goliath versus <laughs> table leg, the two biggest humans in the JFW. You Always. decide which is which. <laughs> yep. <laughs> many, many Twixes. So yeah, this is taking a long time, isn't it? <laughs> That's all I've got. That's the only input I've got. It's fuck me, this is taking a long time. Hit. It's slow, isn't it? What could be a really exciting match? Two high elf teams just banging at each other, going hard, going hard, going hard, playing fast. <laughs> hard and fast. It's just torture. With all due respect to everybody involved. He doesn't have a scoring threat, it, right? Maybe he should have got a scoring threat down first. I think he's hand enough to the uh, mighty blow and gonna run down. Yeah, maybe he is. But maybe you should have got him down first and just passed it to him. Like, you know, got the got the catcher in as a scoring threat first, you know, so just something in case that he rolled at ones or you know, whatever. Yeah. Snakes are possible. We have found that out last king. Yeah. Brother are taking the KO there. <laughs> Midnight glorious, thank you, table leg. But what we'll do is then we shall have Probably after this match, a bit of Among Us, then WrestleMania at 9 p.m. UK time, then a bit more Among Us, and then I will tap out at midnight to watch the Inferior Mania. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. So, um, there you are. You see, it's, it's entirely possible for your whole Saturday to be a Jimmy Fantastic life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It is, yes, Pedro, yeah, it is completely nuts, isn't it? So now he's got the scoring three. Yeah, he's got, it is a GFI, but I don't know if he could have made it one more square. I don't know, no, I, think, enough, I, think, I think the lineman's in the way. Nope. Oh, I think we had enough to him. Might be able to declare that war on Iran if the, when the Queen pops it, you just uncover, you know what I mean? News will be a bit focused on the uh, old Queen. A couple of illegal invasions. <laughs> Probably a governmental strategy. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? It really it genuinely is the strategy. That's the that's the not so funny part. That it is genuinely the strategy. That was glorious, yeah, table leg. <laughs> Yes, it is, and no, he doesn't live up to expectations. <laughs> yep. Oh, he fails a one in nine. Brutal. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't re-roll it because he's he's got a one re-roll and he had tackle. Okay, so he fails a one in three. <laughs> yeah, <too. laughs> glorious. 
Is anyone else from Darlington ever? <laughs> Probably not. This is looking tough for, for Luminous, isn't it? Very tough. I guess he did the thing where he did a bad turn again, where he just did that 1D on the ball instead of making it 2D, and probably whatever got him in this situation in the first place was bad. And now, um, yeah. He's mostly played well, but he, he's got to have done something wrong, hasn't he? I guess not rolling a double for guard. Is a, is a <laughs> well, that was part of it. Um, Take United blow instead. <laughs> that turn where he dropped back, Jim, we didn't like the space he dropped to. And that's sure enough, true. that's when he first yeah. got back. He didn't drop back yeah. far enough because the yeah, side I'd have gone one step further back. But even then, the, the numbers he left in contact, there was that sexy chain on I liked. Um, he turned that down and instead just managed to you know, block his way to get a space through and hit the ball. Yeah. So it did require. So that was the turn I'd want to look at and say there was there was something better to be done there. Yeah. Over the age old base the ball. He has left himself a geofight score though, which could. He could do a vault, couldn't he? All things considered. <laughs> well, we could get a bit of a more of a wall in front of it. The catcher's got the uh, the move to get down in front, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, he's also minus movement, so it's not as good. <laughs> <laughs> not oh. as good. Oof. And this guy does have side steps, so he needs to cover up all the. Uh, Squares to still base. So back to this voting thing, we're actually going to be it's going to be pretty tight, isn't it? I think we can finish the first half in just under an hour. Jesus. <laughs> but it could be on for for over two hours there. The Especially with overtime. Betting. With overtime, it's definitely going to go over two hours, isn't it? Yeah. This is, this is <laughs> yeah. Quite, yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, Try not to sound yeah, quite as suicidal. Among us? I don't know about that. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> briefly uh, drifting into toxicity there. <laughs> what, what were you going to say, PC? I think it was just the tone with which I said, oh yeah, that abused Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> like a condemned man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like to be found in some bays. <laughs> Some islands. <laughs> oh, did you finish Googling that? Didn't even hear the result. Oh, Marzum dropped some facts in the chat. Mm. But yeah, it sort of left that you guys were sweating it, talking about the Blood Bowl. That you're making a good go of it for the best part of half a turn, so. <laughs> I sort of. Uh, mm. They got on of it. You've got to sometimes. This is if you want to help, I can give you anecdotes of the time I holidayed in Cuba and uh, went scuba diving in the Bay of Pigs. Mm. Nice. Were there um, pigs there? I mean, yeah. No, but there was some um, some abandoned landing craft and things like that, Jimmy, because that's where the Americans uh, assaulted Cuba. Yeah. But were there, there any pigs there, though? No <laughs> pigs. Why Not is it I called the Bay of Pigs if there's no pigs there? I imagine in the past there may have been pigs. Good. Where the imperialist pigs Ooh, invaded. Uh, <laughs> Push strength is KO'd. No one be apple. The New Forest is not new to you or me, but presumably was at some point, and that's the name. I love the new forest, little donkeys roaming around and shit like that. It's a great, <laughs> really great place in the country. New York was probably new at one point. It was new after it Dan, new wasn't it, at one point? It was, famously. Mm. Do you know what he could do here? Ball. This isn't... Was this isn't Constantinople? Yeah. This isn't fantastic, but what he could do is he could, he could uh, put in some players and he could chain this guy and then yep. sidestep there and then he could yep. hit him again, and then he could sidestep again, and then he'd be like a, a he'd be like a two squares forward, wouldn't he? Yeah, I quite like the look of the of using sidestep here just to reduce the problems of scoring. Yeah, but it's not like he, even if he doesn't score, it's still his opponent's drive, and he stopped it. Oh yeah, yeah, he's still in, he's still in good, good. He's got good match equity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, this is all, it, it is. It's definitely you know this is a stretch goal scoring, isn't it? It is a bit of a stretch, isn't it? No, I mean I, I, I like what Jimmy's saying that the um, the piece you only leaven twice uh, yeah. can be used to do uh, at least one sidestep, and if you leave the um, the blitzer where it is to put those assists in into the right squares that you need, then you can probably do it twice. Probably leaving only a three plus two plus. 
I think he's going with the uh, easy route of pushing this guy and going for the uh, dodge just past. Yeah. Which isn't terrible, Which is... is it? Like, it's still pretty easy. Yeah, I mean, it ends up with pretty much the same dice. It's just a lot less fun. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, it doesn't make you look as good, does it? Like, you look more confident of the... You look like more of a confident coach, more accomplished coach, even if you were to be doing the abstract way of achieving the same dice. Frankly, I'll win or lose, I always look good. <laughs> I can't help that I'm pretty. But in terms of Blood Bowl, I mean, yes, it's, you know, people do love a surf and a chain, don't they? A cheeky chain. It is a 2 plus of attack. His reload could be going faster. No, we're good. Well, I mean, that was the nice thing about the push, is that it, it slightly solved that. But yeah, here we go. 2 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus. And it all works. Because it <laughs> and no tripwire as well. And the opponent used his second apple, so he's only one apple. Well, Le Marseille <laughs> in a very dominant position now. <laughs> Carefully doing. <laughs> Resting yeah. the ball from his hands. Yeah, squirrel. Yeah, imagine if he'd used a real one, he'd just have to stop and not try to score at all. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, squirrel, because with a leap piece, suddenly if, uh, if dodge pops on the first dodge, then you leap instead. It's uh, the, the dice become better. Did he have leap? Didn't he, wasn't, that, wasn't that the leap? Well, no, it was. Uh, I'm mixing my catches up. No, he just did it. Yeah. He just did it because he was. A mad ass. <laughs> so, then, yes, then it doesn't get better. You still have to do those same moves whether you've still got dodge or not. <laughs> and it's 11 versus 11 going in the second half. Yeah, 51 minutes for the second half there. But Lamar has no pressure to score. He can just sit back and do whatever he wants. Yeah, or he could just bang it in early. It's it's so hard when he doesn't have to stall out, right? That's the thing. He doesn't. Yeah. This is what I've said about a million times. Every time, it's like uh, it's really hard to defend against elves when they've got the freedom to score any time they want, isn't it? You know, when whenever it's easy for them to score, uh, he doesn't care if he scores on turn two or three or four, like any any turn between two or eight. It just doesn't matter, does it? To him. So he's quiet. He's got that freedom to just bang it in any time he gets the chance, and it's super hard to defend against that. Right, I'm gonna have to go. Um, I'll miss you. Yeah, well. I'll miss you guys too. Have fun with whatever you do after this. <laughs> Thanks. Good night, Elf. It's been great. Don't forget, I'm over at twitchtv slash Elf Meme. Yeah, drop me a follow. The entire just rest a follow. Of my just life. come watch me, talk to me. That's all I want. Or just click his name in chat, and you can go straight to his channel. Oh, that is it. Yep. There we go. Hello. It's been fun to see you for JFW. <laughs> 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 yeah. oh, dear. So what would you prefer, Jim, the uh, Fasco or the Dakar? I would just prefer the Dakar because it would make the game end sooner. <laughs> 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 I, just want it. I don't care what he does as long as he fucking does it. <laughs> 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 no, I don't know. Just, be, just be fluid, you know. Just be fluid and set people up, and like you know, go around, see what happens, and then just react to where whatever luminous does, and then you know, just just easy, isn't it? Just do whatever. Just do take whatever you can get. Do whatever you can. Is what I would do here. Just be entirely reactive. But it is looking like the favourite of luminous is uh, everyone's prediction might be wrong. Yeah, I think most people predicted Luminous, I don't know. Yeah, on the, uh, oh, sick as eggs, predicted Le Marcelo. Oh, look at sick, being that guy. <laughs> Go for the underdog. <laughs> but mostly people predicted Luminous. So this is Quick looking step. a bit like a Dakar, isn't it? Quick step makes the game longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going, instead of being on the side, we're going inside because it makes a difference. <laughs> mm. 
No, Mongoose is loose. Look, I'm, I'm, it's always completely fine for them to take the time. I've always said that. It's always fine for people to take as much time as they're allowed. But it's they have to just... accept they're going to get made fun of for doing it. It's not even that. It's just it's just fucking boring to watch, isn't it? Like, it's just not interesting watching somebody think for three minutes. Like, yeah, that's the point. That's the we need, like, a mini-game during the uh, thinking time. Yeah, it's not, it's not a knock on them at all. It's just... It's just... <laughs> I, mean, I get bored just spinning because it takes forever and you're like bored as fuck. Mm. Without the stream, I don't think I could play as much football as I do. <laughs> oh, coffee. <laughs> <Dead head. laughs> I love it. 10 out of 10. Not going for the defenseless character? Yeah, I would have gone to the left. Yeah. Blockless piece. Yep. <laughs> I mostly get bored on turns where it's obvious what they're going to do, but they still take the two minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's annoying, isn't it? When you've got like three people left and they'll just take the full four minutes to fucking move the guys around and decide whether to follow up on the blocks and everything. It's like, Jesus Christ. Like, it is fair them taking this time to think about it. It's completely fair. It's just not interesting, is it? Because it's just not, it's just not a great watch to watch somebody. Yeah. Do all this in 50 seconds instead of doing all in 10 seconds. And this is only 50 seconds, but you know what I mean? Like, this isn't an extreme example, but like, if he had taken three minutes to do all of this, it's like he could have done it in, in 15 seconds. And with, with a setup, we all knew what he was going to do. Because nothing yeah. different. Yeah, exactly. He's put his mighty blow over that side. He's going to make the LOS blocks and he's going to blitz with mighty blow. Like, that's. The only thing that's ever going to happen on this turn. <laughs> I mean, if I was cyanide, other than you know rethinking a lot of my life choices and building a better blood bowl game, <laughs> one of the things I might have looked at is uh, you know the, the difference between someone's first say fifty games using the client competitively against others, and perhaps some sort of rookie league where you do get you know three or four minute turns, and then once you're experienced, I think I mean I wasn't a huge fan of cutting it to two minutes just because I thought it was very new player unfriendly. But I think those of us that have played a fair amount of Blood Bowl should be able to get most turns done within the two minutes. Uh, particularly as, you know, there are uh, block timers and things like that that just add to it and make it even longer than that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, with the so they've just made it longer than the actual time, so... And at the time it was done, I mean, there, there just weren't that many new players arriving, were there? Because it had been out for so long that the cut from three minutes to two, I thought, was probably okay. Yeah. Um, but now with it on sale and things, I do think people, that, you know have been used to playing just amongst themselves or against the uh, extremely professionally coded AI <laughs> are going to come online and find in two minutes against a human setting them actual real problems yeah, um, yeah that may be a little tight for them and that's you know I'm all about the new players I always want new blood in Blood Bowl that's where the wins come from <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean I, yeah yeah, yeah. Ooh, we could sit could we set? Almost. One square off. Maybe uh, Omar should have set up a frenzy trap here. Nah, I don't know. I think it's... It's difficult to do, isn't it? Because, you know... You can go where he wants. More important just to protect your good players, really, I guess. I like what Luminous is doing here. You know, he's attacking the front of this shape, making sure there's some pressure into the backfield. Classic elf mm. play. Yeah, he did it instantly, didn't he, with this uh, short hands guy? Just yeah. On the side, didn't even think about it. Not. Yeah. Only move seven. Knows though. he wants someone in the backfield. Knows he wants a, a piece that can, you know, get the ball and be difficult if it does. So I liked that. I liked the blitz choice. I think that's uh, giving him options. 
given Le Marseille things he has to think about and solve. And obviously, one nil down, he has to go for something. Yeah. Can't just sit here. Yeah. Yeah, indeed, Ducky. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It's the extra fifteen second chunks is, is a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind uh, three minutes for setup and two minutes for turns. Honestly. Yeah. But you can't do that. <laughs> In Blood Bowl 2, maybe in Blood Bowl 3, yeah, something will happen. There's been a bit of news from Blood Bowl 3, they reckon uh, August is going to happen. And, uh, they're going to be making some you know, news soon. Indeed, Pedro, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It's like, it is just, like, I think they should have, <laughs> I think they should have, like, you know, the Hearthstone kind of rope um, thing, where, you know, if someone disconnects or, like, you know, go, not disconnect, goes AFK, like, they get less, if they, if they spend a turn without doing anything, they'll get less time each turn and that, because that, that, that would get rid of the problem of AFK people, wouldn't it? But might take some effort to call, but, so they probably won't have I enjoyed it. the uh, pointless dodge to run back to where we were. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? Mm. At least he recognised that he'd, he'd done goofed, so he rectified it. The problem here is that there's a huge amount of space down both flanks. Yes. Uh, but that may be deliberate because that does then make the uh, the frenzy strength four a lot more dangerous, doesn't it? So if I was going to try and push forward here, I think I probably would. There is the space to do it. I would do it down the uh, down the left hand side. Yes, I would as well. Away from the frenzy piece. Yeah, and you not only is it further away, you get to put the line on like four squares in instead of two squares in, don't you? So you just got uh -huh. a bit of more space, even if there was no yep. frenzy. Got more space to wangle it afterwards. See, so yeah, I don't mind doing that. You could even pass it to the other catcher. Then you can have the catcher, like, you know, in a four squares it deep. And this catcher could get over the over the LOS. Um, yeah. Or just hand off. But yes, a little yeah. pass puts, uh, would put the other catcher in range. Right? Yeah, that's what I like about that. And you can put enough around both the receiver and the thrower because there's very little basing. Um, but if it was a, a 1 in 36 on either, it's possibly not the end of the world. Though any ball on the floor against elves is a bad thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It would be risky, obviously. But nice. It, it would be nice to get him in scoring range, wouldn't it? I think. Yes, still 97% of 97% isn't bad. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, it looks like he's not doing that. No, I mean, having knocked the uh, the frenzy piece over, yeah, coming up the right-hand side now looks a lot. Oh, is he going to foul? Looks like it, from this shape. I felt there was more to... Be, oh, I'm not gonna, I nearly used the word equity. More equity. <laughs> I felt there was more to be gained with the move up the left. Yeah, I did like that. But I guess now you can get a big foul in here, can't you? You can take out a really worrying piece. Uh, I mean, you're still 1 0 up. You technically never need to score, do you? That's very true. But, you know, we, as we've seen with Elves, one little misplace, you know, one series of really nice blocks or dodges, and suddenly you're in trouble. Um, and at 2 0, that's a lot less worrying. Yeah. Does he dodge for the foul? Or is he not going to foul? Maybe he's not going to foul at all. Yeah, I like getting him forward, even if he wasn't gonna, even if he weren't gonna get the ball. Yeah, dodge foul. No reroll. You can be my wingman anytime. Yeah, probably not worth the reroll. Oh boy. Mostly because of the overtime format, probably just keep it. Yeah, unbelievable, massive raid there from Rick Reckless. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much, EABs. 
forthcoming victim. <laughs> Tomorrow night, 8pm, UTC. And tonight, I, in about an hour, is the first night of WrestleMania. Absolutely. I don't nice. hate Rick's, Rick's odds in that matchup, Jimmy. Rick's never been one that's you know, shied away from a difficulty. That's true. But it's He'll 20 just, minutes. He'll just leap six plus and then say flip me when it works. It'll be fine. <laughs> That's true. That is Don't true. Don't see anything wrong with that. But it's going to be do so it with brutal. a joyful smile that makes us all love him. <laughs> yep. As long as he's got a smile on his face, we can. Tempted in those people whose heads are now in his fridge. <laughs> yep. So yeah, well, welcome, welcome, Rick viewers, to this uh, Luminous versus Le Marcelier. You join us fourteen hours into this match, and <laughs> 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 to be fair, the first half wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Yeah, no, it's it's all right. They're taking their time, which is fair enough. Oh, he's leaping in for the one deep. Are we scope? Do we do all this? We have to, don't we? We might not have re-rolled a push, but a skull we have to. Yeah. Was he tempting, um, tempting him in with that? I don't know. If you're wondering why Le Marseille is one up and yet seems to be driving this half, my father, who watched the first half of this game, told me uh, <laughs> in his letter to me in his will, uh, please watch the end of the game. And uh, it, it, was a, it was a turnover. I mean, nothing was that terrible. The elves seemed to be progressing very well from Luminous' side. But, uh, but Le Marseille really uh, corralled him up into one little, uh, one little side panel of the pitch and then did manage to get a lot of pressure in on the ball. Uh, and whilst uh, Luminous did seem to deal with it fairly well, lots and lots of pounds that turn, and, uh, and dodged out backwards to try and stabilise, we all felt he just stayed a little bit too much in contact and that allowed uh, a, a hole to be opened up and a one-die sack to happen, which got a beautiful power. From there, it all got very messy. But, Luke, but uh, Le Marseille came out with the ball and uh, did manage a 2 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus to score the 1 0. So it's very much the pressure's on Luminous to do things here, to yeah. change the expected outcomes. And Luminous did put up a good defence on that one turn he had to save it. Yeah. He did, yeah. He, 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 I mean, I don't think he's done a lot wrong, except, as Jimmy said, you know, the fact that he got turned over means there must have been a way that that could have been better and I think it was that turn I th do you know what I think, it, I think it was before that turn I think it was the random basing of the strength 4 you know out on the side there that did create a bit of a weakness too but it... yeah I, there yeah. was some upsides though to that like if he didn't power him he can yeah. just sidestep in and 2 death him back without an assist yeah, yeah. but again Frenzy also makes that harder because he needs to cancel but as I mean, as Jim's saying, I mean, you know, where do you start in the in the tale of woe? I mean, that basing meant there were less players around to defend the ball, which made the you know the full-on assault on the cage more prob probable to work, and it did. Um, so it, it, that may be that we could go that far back and say that's that was a positional error. Yeah, because there was that ball to say, wasn't there? Where it was like those three L's were surrounded by, but like on all sides, weren't they? Yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. You know, and, and that started which, um, with that strength four. Yeah, and if about a third of your team is getting, you know, sidelined from defending your ball, then likely that's going to cause problems. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Space Cadet. You could say that trying to score at all was the failure of the Elf coach. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's never going to get old for me. <laughs> Coming up the south line pretty fast now. Yeah, he might as well, mightn't he? Like, that's the beauty of it, he can score whenever he wants. Yep. And even if he doesn't, it's still not the end of the world. Even if he gets turned over, that's uh, you know he's still looking at overtime, and there's still fifty percent chance of that ball. So, and Luminous has to probably use all, maybe all his rerolls to get this ball, and uh, Lamar can just sit on his rerolls. Yeah. I was going to say, why aren't we? Surely one more step forwards, but. I think this catch is going to dodge out and try and cover the. Yeah, back. the catcher for sure wants to get down there and shore that up a bit, doesn't he? But yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have minded one, one for for. But I think it's a G five to get one for. Yeah, it's a G five. Yeah, and the fact that it's guard does make that look safe because, as we've said quite a few times, there's no guard on the other team. Yeah. And no way to fill the squares to make that a surf either. Yeah. And it's lacking two leapers. 
Well, that's why you'd have to fill the squares behind Muppet as well. Yeah, it's, it's brutal, isn't it? But you can... I mean, you can do one Ds here, can't you? And, uh, you know, get get good chances in here. Yeah, you could do the uh, Lamar's base tactic and maybe get some uh, lucky dice there. Yeah, there's definitely things can happen here. Certainly that catcher failing its dodge out, it's 3 plus 2 plus, does mean that the, the front side of this does look a little weak, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, for sure, Pedro, yeah. No guard at all. It's rough, isn't it? But only one guard is, can also be rough because you have to keep him with the team. Like, if enemy managed to like get him out-positioned... But at least you've got one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's still better than yes. none, isn't it? <laughs> Unarguably, one is better than none. Uh, and also more than it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm wondering if he does like just a one D when he's not doing one D with him. Hello, Inarian. Um, Luminous does have a stripper, but it's he's on the floor. That's not a stripper. Luminous doesn't have a stripper. Um, <laughs> Someone had a stripper somewhere. We, got, we lost him. got a stripper, and he's not on the floor. One of the elves leaps right. on one of the teams, and yeah, one of the elves trips on one of the teams. Yeah, they both leap. I was thinking it was yeah, the leaper. Yeah, they've both got a leaper. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why I got One's plus edge, so he's up probably better. Yes. <laughs> yes, he's a much better. He's a much better leaper. This one, isn't he? Wrestle strip, edge five leap, whereas he's rackle, dodge. We are in score range, but we're sort of blocking our route to blitz past. Yeah, it's tricky, isn't it, with that sidestepper there? That's a very nice square for him. Of course, the mass lake could just reverse field here. Doesn't have to score at all, never mind soon. He could just one dice to catch for push and run up his door, but it's a bit shit. He could, yeah. He might go for that. Oh yeah, the edge five can can leap. Get the assist in. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Oh well, not anymore. There you go, look at that. Fix up. Strength four. Right, I think now he has to just run away, doesn't he? Yeah, retreat. And it's blood step as well, so if, even if you could find a one die or a two die on it, it's not going to be a lot of use, is it? Mm. Well, I don't know, actually. Do you know what? I think well, it kind of almost yeah. might be worse now, because now you can just get the free one D on him, right? You know, with the guard, or the guard and just one D him, see what happens. And if he pals, then you follow and you've got a... Yes, then the hole's there, isn't it? Yeah. But no, we <sighs> step into it, can not well, if you sidestep right, then you then you do the uh, then you do the edge five leap for the assist. Oh. So yeah. yeah, so you just, you can just go for a one day here, and if you're all a six, you're happy. Nope, he's not going nope. for that. Going back. I like just running back here. It's fine, isn't it? There's no rush. Yeah. He tried to go down there, didn't work out. He can run back to the middle. He can get this foul in now as well. <laughs> I said earlier, didn't there. actually need to score at all. I mean, it's uh, it's nice to do, but not needed. Yeah. Yes, not scoring when you one nil up is is completely valid strategy. Hello, Dibby. Yeah, Space said absolutely it was starting to resemble the first half, wasn't it? All those elves herded up into a little box on the side. It was, yeah. And the Master thing. has said no to that. <laughs> I think it's because of this um, this catch up field as well. The, uh, Lamar, uh, Luminous has had to put up 
guy up here made his defense a bit worse. Yep. And I absolutely back what the Narians just said. Uh, I can confirm in my experience of BB, 3 0 is better than 2 0. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you get more equity for that? Almost always better than 1 0 too. <laughs> We yeah, could yeah. also argue this is what Luminous should have done. He should have come this far back. Yeah, yeah. Under yeah. pressure. Yeah. Does he foul, though? That's the question. Well, you've got a, a crap piece that has no skills. I don't mind fouling with that at all, as long as I've got everything else in position. Again, it was probably a low priority option, but it's might be the last thing I do in this turn if everything else works. Yeah. I mean, right. that piece can also make a two dice on the right. I mean, that's his best sacking player, isn't it? Rackle Lee. It's absolutely the best sacking threat. And even a stun, like, saves you for one turn. Yeah. <laughs> In Aria. 1 0 up, not scoring is very valid, isn't it? That's the thing. Oh, he's not getting it's the extra assist in. 0 0 less, so. Yeah. Some would say wholly unacceptable at nil nil. <laughs> I don't think I'd have fouled with that one. I'd have put that assist in and I'd have fouled with Nessan Idon. Uh, he's making a block. We've got to make two dice. On a nil. We've got to make two um, dice. Who instead is. Uh, I was going to say, he's going to take on the one in three chance of getting a power against a blodger. But then gets the power against the blodger, so that's fine. It was oh. good. I would, I would have moved this guy first though before making the foul at least, because if not, yeah. he's just if he got sent off, he's just sat on the floor doing nothing. Yeah, I would have done all of the things that he's doing before doing the foul if you were going to foul with that guy. Personally, but I would have still done it a little bit differently. But there you go. It doesn't. Who's to say who's right or wrong? Just to send off there was rough. <laughs> Right, well, this has slightly exceeded my allocated time, so I'm just going to go and have a brief bit of dinner. Uh, I'll be back probably by um, by turn 14. It'll take about <laughs> half an hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, PC. See you in a bit, PC. Ça cherche clairement le corps à corps. Slowly losing casters. Yeah. <laughs> Too <laughs> old age. <laughs> Me on Jimmy's channel, like on my own. <laughs> yeah. dodge. He could leap dodge in one day here, couldn't he? But he's not going for it. I mean, this is not good enough from Luminous, isn't it? He's got to get the turnover. This is the issue now. At one nil down, it's it's just not good enough to like blitz somebody and you know make it difficult and tricky. Especially this far in, we're to turn twelve. We're getting quite close. Yeah, he's got to get in and get the turnover. He's yes. going to do the uh, Rick plays of just going for it. <laughs> yeah, he, he does. He really Whenever does. I see like uh, four GFIs to set the ball, I'm like, do I do a Rick or do I leave it? <laughs> do I do a Rick or a Elliot? <laughs> <laughs> and I usually end up doing the Rick, honestly. <laughs> Wow, Dimmy with the wise words. Ooh. He does the leap. I feel like if you're going to do that leap, you might as well have done the one day afterwards, right? But he doesn't, he just bases the ball. I guess maybe if he had strip as well, he'd be more inclined to do it. But it's still wrestle tackle. It's still pretty good. <laughs> it's just giving your opponent a blit and assist on the character he wants to hit the most. <laughs> I can't really hate basing the it's ball. It's pretty easy. Yeah, I really hate basing the ball. Like, I, just, I just hate it because that's that's literally all you're doing. Is I think he's getting fouled. Well. Yeah, maybe. Giving your opponent assist the player he wants to hit the most is not what I like to do. Maybe even one square to the left, he's still threatening. He's still 
needs to deal with it, but you'll have to put more effort into it. Yeah, exactly. I quite like this moving him up and punching there. But then it's how do you can you get enough across? And you probably can. This could this could look very strong for the Marsali after this. Yeah, this left side is very open at the moment. Yeah. Especially with those knockdowns. Yeah, that's why that's why PC and I wanted to go there the turn before, wasn't it? And then you know, he, he, the Marsley went the right side got locked in a bit, but then coming back this far has allowed him to go the other side instead. Whereas Luminous only went back a short way, didn't he? And then Oh, he's cutting off his path here if he yeah, stands in. I hate that. He should have moved the ball first. He could have got one how many more squares? I guess if you don't want to go there, it's okay, but the Edge 5 wants to just go there, doesn't it? That's the problem. I'd want the Edge 5 in here. I guess he just leaps. He'd stand next to him. I guess he leaps anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, there. It doesn't matter where. I guess he leaps anyway because he doesn't got dodge, right? Oh, yeah. So it doesn't, it doesn't really I always I, I see Edge 5 and I assume he's got dodge. And he just doesn't. Yeah. And he can just go around there anyway. Yeah. Alright, it doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter at all. Next to the ball, it'll be fine. What do you do with this last line? Then? How else you can go round the back? There's only mm -hmm. one way to beat them, get round the back. <laughs> it's the third round, Mike the Machine. Hello. Oh, you muted. <laughs> wow. What an asshole. <laughs> I can say that because he's muted. <laughs> <laughs> He's not deaf though, he could maybe be listening in. Oh, <laughs> Timmy! <laughs> <laughs> it's the third round. Round of 16. Taco Cat. <laughs> This is not the final year, because Ducky still wants to win it. I guess this might this game might end at the same time as the final <laughs> in a few weeks. <laughs> I mean, the the issue is is he going to get a better chance than that one D, isn't it? That's the thing. That's why, like, yeah. you know, going for that one D wasn't that bad. Because is he going to get a better chance? Maybe now he's not. on the floor, too far away from the ball. He's not can't reach, and that's his best sacker. Yeah, he's got this side stepper that he desperately has to deal with. Otherwise, it's just basically a free score. It's like it's really hard, really hard yeah. now. And he doesn't have any guard, so he's going to have to put someone on the uh, sideline to hit him. Yeah. It's so hard. It's so hard. Like, turns like this, I don't blame him for taking all three minutes to think, because yeah, exactly. it's a difficult turn. I don't any turn. It's, it's genuine. It's obviously fine. It's just that when you're, when you're watching it, it doesn't, doesn't fill you with uh, joy. <laughs> Excitement. <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon they'll play the final in Blood Bowl 3 or do you reckon they'll keep it in Blood Bowl 2 <laughs> yeah I mean if, if there's no delays maybe maybe Blood Bowl 3 <laughs> can blitz with tackle mighty blow on the ball uh, yeah, technically, but how do you uh, how do you cancel the assists? You have to. The sure hands would have to like dodge some crazy dodges. Plus. Yeah, he'd have to go three plus four plus, and then he dodges in on a on a four plus to one D. No, he could do three plus three plus, and then mark this guy with this lineman like he's doing, which is a bit better. Oh yeah, coming that way. Yeah, okay. And he does. Yeah, yeah. And then he can come in that back way, right? So what's that? Three, three, two. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, okay, that's not bad, is it? Oh no, he's going the wrong way, or the same as me. Oh, <laughs> oh he gets the pal! Side steps back. Oh, disgusting. Nope. Oh, he catches it on the blood stepper. Oh my god. The crowd goes wild. Oh, he's rolled a one. He didn't need that JFA, did he? He's got a side step. He could have stayed on the. Yeah, but I guess he's got a plan. And More dodges. Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, this is still very easy, isn't it, to deal with? Adj, the guard, goes in front and then he just dodges away to hit with tackle. Or he could just come in with a... Uh, the wrestle is not so not so close. He could leap with this wrestle, but he hasn't got tackle. He doesn't have a rackle, does he? He doesn't yeah, have a rackle at all. At the back. No, oh, yeah, he's, he's next to the other. He rackled the other rackle, didn't he? Yeah. So, yeah, I guess you just come in with the... Uh, Oh, you can push him into it. Oh, he's got sidestep. So, no, I guess you just got to blitz with my little tackle. You can also hit for a bow to get rid of the dodge with the guard. Yeah. Both down. I mean, if he doesn't GFI there, he gets surfed, doesn't he? If he puts him in there. Does he have enough players to do it, though? Yeah, because if he doesn't get him in behind, then he's just got three players to go in behind. And he's got three players in front as well, so he had to GFI forward or back. He had to, he had to go one way or the other. He's definitely getting surfed if he doesn't know uh, GFI. Hundred percent. I'm not sure about signing him up first. I guess the edge is leaping over to get the ball. No, you can't. Yeah, you've got to you've got to blitz with a tackle, haven't you? Because mighty blow as well. And it's like just a two plus with dodge. Uh -huh. And he wasted twenty nine on the uh, <laughs> vessel. Oh, good. Who is <laughs> Mozart? <laughs> Oh, what? oh, I don't, I don't like the gun for the two plus. Look at that! He got the power as well. If he'd hit with tackle, he would have got it. <laughs> it's a strip ball, though. Ah, you strip. Okay, all right, fair enough. Yeah, that's actually fair, then, isn't it? Oh. Uh, yeah, the push was good enough with the strip ball, but. but I mean, that was his. I, I did like it. knocking him down and maybe even a stun with the mighty blow. Yeah, but I mean, he's got the same chance to knock him down, right? Wrestle. Instead of tackle, so they they've both got the equal chance to knock him down. It's just with strip, he guarantees getting the ball loose, pretty much. But then the sidestep square almost guarantees having tackle zones on it. So maybe it you know it was better to have blitzed with the tackle just for the edge five recovery. Yeah, I did like the edge five recovery a lot better. Yeah. I mean, if 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 he had the edge five recovery, then this guy dodges out, he punches him, and then the edge five can give it to the catcher and score and win. Maybe can. even scattered to him, and he just caught it. Yeah, like, but then he would have scattered, he would have sized up to a different square, though, wouldn't he? Then. Um, yeah, I mean. So it's it's interesting. I, I think I did quite. I think I preferred the tackle hit, but obviously this isn't worse, right? It's just it's just I different. I preferred the upsides for the tackle hit to the right downsides. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the, the two plus you've got to re-roll. That's the bad thing, isn't it? Whereas this, you've got a skill re-roll. So straight away, you've you've got a better a better chance of making the hit at all with the uh, with the. Well, no, you've got the same chance of making the hit. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You've got a better chance of something. <laughs> There's pros and cons, and who without a blood bowl supercomputer, who can say if it's right or wrong? Now what the hell does he do here? Tries to get a scatter, and he's got he hasn't got the guard though, has he? It's really horrible not having any guard. Yeah, and obviously his opponent has a lot of side step. Yeah. Or he could go he could go and hit this guy with his friends here. And then he could uh, mm. he could get a scatter. But the problem is obviously if someone else picks up the scatter then he's fucked, isn't he? So he doesn't really want to scatter it that much. Can so you change just... push enough people off? 
I mean, they're sidestepped, so you just can't even. Oh, you've yeah. got to, that's the thing, you've got to power them off. It's tricky. It's tricky. Thank you. Jimmy Van Morton's What the fuck is this? <laughs> Mort's Artemis Black. <laughs> So he gets the tackle knocked down. And he does not disturb it. So that would encourage me to uh, hit the other one, to be honest. Yeah. And I've seen a pal. He probably scatters it, I'm guessing. Oh, oof, he gets fucking cast. <laughs> Minus two. Instant apple. It works. Yeah. It's late into a game. I don't hate it. No, no, I, I, I agree 100% instant apple there. Okay, so, I was thinking about the dodge pick up with short hands, but he's got tackle on him, so he doesn't have the dodge reroll. He hasn't used his blitz yet, so he could just, uh, he could go for the uh, chain on the ball still. It's still an option. We'll Not find out. Silly elf things. It's going to be glorious, glorious football. <laughs> we'll find out in ten years' time. Nah, space. Though. That's that's terrible. He doesn't want to dodge on a three plus from tackle. Yeah, with that with the tackle on him, I'd ha hate it. Yeah, but you can you can chain the tackle off. Yeah, I guess at least blitz, minimum. Blitz the tackle. Go for the three plus three plus. Minimum blitz the tackle off, but he's blitzing here. I don't like that. I do not like that. He's got another hit, but that's the best guy to pick up the ball. Oh, the movement guy, but he hasn't got sure hands, so I don't like that. Yeah, without much. the reroll, so I like the sure hands to pick up the ball. And as predicted, it is turn 14 and I'm back. <laughs> well done, PC. Glorious. Uh, he missed a, some crazy, crazy dodges. Good, because I do feel that uh, that Luminous has to be trying some crazy, crazy things here, or at least some moderately crazy things. Yeah, it was it was moderately crazy. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't too crazy. It wasn't too crazy. Fails the pickup, but he but gets the, the catch, catch on the six. Plus. But there is a guard available for Le Marcelli. Ha ha ha! Oui oui oui. Hee haw. Hee haw. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> in Arian. Not everybody can score when they want in Arian. <laughs> Other people have dice to contend with. <laughs> <laughs> Not every game is like a 3 1 win or 5 1 win. <laughs> You just secure the ball. That's the most important thing, isn't it? You don't care about recovery or or anything else apart from just banging out this carrier and worry about everything else later, I think. Thank you very much, Marzen. I am, of course, 100% fluent. <laughs> I think you want to do something with this lineman first, just because he's pretty useless over here on the right. Yeah, he's, he's not really yeah. really doing anything, though, is he, when he comes in? I think, yeah, the, this is the horrible thing. Like, he was the obvious one to assist there, but then you don't get to move your guard in. So, ah, oh, but then he stood up as well. Oh, interesting. Oh, he's got sidestep. Oh, Yuck. Hmm. Yeah, now he's just I've got his guard for the... Yeah, I think maybe the play was to punch this guy out. But he can still one dice push it and he gets the two dice up here. Oh, he, he didn't follow. No, no, he can't follow. He needs he needs to, like, blitz yeah. this okay. uh, right. blodger and then he can block the ball, can't he? Yeah. Mm. 
again, all of this comes down to his um, his lack of just a single guard piece, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing to say. Oh. Well, thank you very uh, much. Fourth, right? And he did kill him. He's so fucking he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Instant apple, but he's still pretty fucked. <laughs> Minus move. Even oh. more minus move for this team. Yay. I don't think they really care about it. I don't think they'll have another game to worry about. Oh, <clears> no, this is terrible. That is just pointlessly terrible, isn't it? Coming in for the one day. That yeah. is real bad. Yeah, two days to bludge then you get two days. With the yeah, as, as you said, there were, just, there were so many better options available than doing that, unfortunately. Yeah. Because he still has the two dice, takes the both down, he gets another two dice. It's a one here. You, oh, no, if he, if he, he blitzed him, if he blitzed this guy away, then he gets a 2D with a mighty blow tackle, and if he sidesteps down, he gets to hit with Wrestle Strip on two dice. If he sidesteps up, he gets to two dice him with uh, without anything, but he still gets follow up hits, and it's only making two Ds. I really hated him. risking a 1D there. And now this is horrible because now this is looking pretty easy for Luminous to just run out and, and screen it, isn't it? This is yep. a real disaster. From a dominant position, it's looking rough now. It is, yeah. We could be looking forward <laughs> to overtime. <laughs> Eight more turns of this. Woo! <laughs> In the one hand, Fend. the one dash there just frees him up. Yep. And he's got your hand, so the strip doesn't do anything. It was pretty bad, wasn't it? In my opinion, it was pretty bad. And now he's got three players, four players, five players, six players, seven. Like he's got the whole team can all just come and support in a cage down yeah, here. Yeah, it's it's this is now a one-one as far as I can see. But there's there's still ways that uh, Le Mars uh, Le Marseille can turn this around. But there's still no rerolls, so. Yeah, he's going to be very, uh, very prudent with his turn ordering, isn't he? <laughs> but there is a lot of inbuilt rerolls, so you just need to avoid the uh, the one in sixes and take the one in thirty sixes, don't you? Yeah, yeah, just, until, just a until bit. You run out of them to do. Yeah. And indeed, there are some uh, there are some pieces that don't need that at all to move. This frenzy is ruining this two dice now because he can't just. Not follow and come back. Well, yeah. The problem with the, the the frenzy is he can he can walk somewhere without rolling dice. So you really just want him to be walking somewhere without rolling dice, don't you? Yeah. I didn't hate using the frenzy on the piece that was marking the ball, just because on a push there was then some nice chains to clear pieces off at the back as well. But yeah, true, true. It's um, you know, it, the, the one in thirty six was fine, wasn't it? And as you said, the strength could come without. Uh, any worries at all? He can just walk up and be useful. So it should probably do that now, <laughs> or soon, or just you know, risk someone in thirty sixes first. That's that's good too. <laughs> well, that's the thing, isn't it? There's pros and cons. If he if he waits with that, then he gets to blitz the uh, yeah. Then he gets to blitz with it. Whatever. No, no, no. Now he's doing. It. Okay. But if you were blitzing with it, then not doing that first was just horrible just horrible it's a bit harsh but yes it's it's obviously no, it is wrong, it, it is horrible it's because terrible. the one that, the one that dodged off closed the you know the hardest way into the cage and the yeah. strength one closed a wide open door that would have led to two die yeah we're without any role so yeah okay it is for the chalice it's terrible for the chalice is terrible for everyone else watching at home it's basic blood ball <laughs> i guess right if you if you knew a blood ball that's the sort of thing you wouldn't do you know, yeah, but it's 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 those little three percent risks when people start to eliminate those. It's when their their game notably you know improves, isn't it? Yeah, it, it was kind of terrible for Chalice, I guess. The third round of Chalice, he should not have. There's kind of no excuse, right? Because that's where he's moving. Yeah. He should have just exactly. moved first. Those two cage corners are completely different in how important they are. Oh, tackle! Tackle doing a thing. He probably should have dodged the uh, the other one first, right? Yes, I mean I. 
hate to say that I was 100% right, but I was 100% right. Um, you, you take the 1 in 36 fails before you try the 1 in 6s, don't you? I mean, he, he, to be fair, this there's, he's got 1 in 9 fails left. He only had these two guys that don't have dodge. And this yeah, guy, no he fair. Could have, he could have 1 in 9, and then if he pops dodge, he doesn't make a second dodge. Yeah. If, if you, but if, you, if, you know, if you're going to make the dodge without dodge as well... Then you probably do that one first. Well, I know you probably still do this one first, don't you? Probably, you? Yeah, you might as well do the second dodge because all the other dodges are exactly the same then. Yeah. Yes, I'd have done the one in nine followed by whether that popped or not, still moving that piece. Then I'd have done the uh, the naked guy at the very back. Yeah, because he, at least he's doing something here, yeah. Yeah, and there's actually some value in his mighty blow tackle hitting a piece that isn't one that's around the ball. If he chooses yeah. to do that, that's great. Then it's, it's yeah. out of the way and it's not bothering me. Yeah, yeah. The, the, this guy is in is in a much less relevant position. He's in quite a yeah. decent one. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Uh, I apologise, Jimmy. We might not get any Among Us. We might go to overtime. Oh yeah, but it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't terrible. It's just again, it's these little. You know, it's it's between a, a sort of a B plus and an A minus, isn't it? That's the sort of differences we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's worth to point them out. Like, if you just rewatch this for some reason. He'll know for next time to watch out for them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Scroll, yep. He moves max movement. He's here. It's a very nice place to be. Towards the end of a you know a tiring, stressful game, we all make mistakes in Blood Bowl. I mean, yeah. I, I don't think I've coached a turn of Blood Bowl. I'd look back on and say everything was 100% perfect. Turn orders and positions and things. You just yeah. try and get as close to that as you can. Forgive yourself and do the same the next time. So we've uh, two minutes without moving anything. I guess we don't have a plan yet. Well, this is the key turn, isn't it? If it's going to get stopped, obviously it's got to be here. So. Yeah. And you've also got to consider, is it worth putting my reroll into this? Or do I keep that tiny bit of uh, tiny bit of an edge I've got for overtime? I think you have to keep it. It's not, it's not high odds enough to use it, is it? Like even if you lock it down, ball. recovering it is like almost. I mean, with like Rackle on the ball, if you get in there and then the hit is, you know, a skull, for example, I, yeah, I'm, I'm still with you, Jimmy. I just don't think. Well, he looks like he's not even trying that. But. Yeah. Because I, I the recovery just isn't there, is it? Yeah. I mean, against, say, a Bash team, you just put loads of elves around it and they're going to struggle to recover. But against other elves, it's just not going to work. And it's probably highly likely one of the other girls even catches it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in our end, he couldn't have gone up 2 0 without rolling dice. <laughs> I'm sure if he could have gone 2 0 up without rolling dice, then yes. Then yes. It was Push up the left, we liked, Jim. There wasn't a lot of dice in it, and it did give him a really strong position for the 2 0, didn't it? Yeah, he just didn't go. He went back to it a little bit later, but uh, didn't defend it well enough. No. He, uh, he also covered a square, one turn he covered a square, but he had to move through, move the ball through to get more movement. Yeah. So uh, he ended up not being as far forward as maybe he could be. Maybe that would have made a difference. But again, there hasn't been anything super terrible, uh, except that turn ordering, which really genuinely was. But um, it, I mean, it's been pretty solidly coached by both throughout. Just little tiny things you think, oh, I would have done that slightly differently. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would have been really bullish at 1-0 up to just drive everything home, even at the cost of some elves and all my re-rolls to get to 2 -0. Yeah. Because then I think I'm in a great position. Yeah. Just those little slivers of equity. Yep. <laughs> and now this is, uh, you know, this can be rather simple, but there's no re-rolls. So he's, he's got to think about it again for three minutes because, you know, he's got to find the, the least amount of rolls to have doing this, hasn't he, to be fair? Not least amount of rolls, say, if it's the highest possible. Chance. Yes, Space, but Space Cadet, he means exactly the same as I do. He's just got a different way of expressing it, um, which I know some people take <laughs> against. But, I you know, I think Artemis is a very good analyzer of Blood Bowl, and most of what he says is 100% spot on. He expresses himself in a very flowery way, which... <laughs> Sometimes comes over as a little aggressive to people. <laughs> but living in the UK, that's what everyone's like, so it's fine. Yeah, I mean, if you if, if you if you can process it as he's just having some fun and being entertaining, 
and look at the message in what he's saying rather than the words he uses. Um, I think the player is, yeah, to 1D. Yeah, sidestep's so... in a good spot, though. Yeah, the sidestep is in a good spot. Um, yeah, but the Rackle Catcher is the one I'd be hitting. Uh, not like that. I'd be hitting with the ball. Because then I'm already through the cage. Yeah. Yeah, I and even on a push, I've, I've, you know, which is no, two thirds of a dice, I'm then uh, I'm then a two plus from victory for, for, for overtime. Whereas that's then a three two. So he had tackle, I guess. Yeah, I know doing it with tackle meant that the knocking it over was much better. But it... Andy was wrestled, so it was a one in three to fail, whereas this was a one in six to fail. Yeah. So yeah. it's not it's it's, it's kind of close without a reroll. Yes. I'm not sure what the best player was. But. No, again, with a guard, that would have been incredibly simple to work out. And then the hit with the ball was definitely great. Because all you need is the yes. push. Um, but without a, just that, again, that single guard missing or not in the right spot just changes so much. Yeah, so both people have been turned over on their offensive drive. So maybe winning the toss not so good here <laughs> for Luminous. But. Um, you know, I hear yeah, no fascinating, isn't it? We haven't seen an elf manage to drive home successfully. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Luminous did win the toss. He went in offense. I was tempted to make a very, very toxic drug driving joke there, and I haven't done so. And oh, I, I feel I want people to know that. <laughs> well uh, definitely not more Spreckers of Brandon, but certainly some. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I found a non, a less toxic version. There we are. I'll go with that. So this, uh, this is a very George Michael sort of game. Neither of them managing to drive successfully. How's that? Yeah. I mean, all he did was you know, smash his car into a snappy snaps when stone. That wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> not as funny though, is it? <laughs> no. No, no, it's not. Like... No, no. <laughs> Dakar. Yeah, Dakar's. Back is a thing now, isn't it? Or oh, withdrawn offense if you withdrawn offense. <laughs> Even Dionysian, having studied the uh, the gentleman himself, now admits that the the gentleman for whom that is named by some people uh, doesn't do it. What he mm -hmm. does is run the hell away. Yeah, well, there you go. Including with you know strength based teams, let alone agility ones. <laughs> what a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, there, I mean, there are times, I mean, absolutely, people always think I hate the, the withdrawn offence. I don't. I think it's a little overused at times. I think because it's new and got quite sexy on Blood Bowl 2, loads of people are doing it without understanding the pros and the cons and the benefits and how one does it well. Uh, but there are times it's absolutely the right thing to do. Try and burn a couple of turns. Try and uh, get them out of position. Yeah, Dial loves it, doesn't he? He does. Which makes me, which makes me think it's it's better than I think it is. <laughs> well, I think there's also a level of him experimenting with something reasonably new to him, and you know he, he wants a couple of hundred examples of it to see really, you know, he's nailed how to do it. Does he think this is a, a thing you should do every time? Mm. Depressingly, he seems to be coming to the answer yes. Mm -hmm. Woo! Even the kickoff events want this game to be short. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and also, I fear in Blood Bowl 2020 or Blood Bowl 3 that we're going to see it a lot more because the ability to save all of your rerolls and use them on turn 7 oh, and turn 6. Yeah. You, know, you can pull three rerolls into breaking the line on that one turn. So Absolutely, yeah. It sort of gains in value as a tactic. It no makes power. one turn as better as well, doesn't it? Essentially, like, okay, it takes away naturals, but it makes everything not natural better because you can just pump in those rerolls to score the one turn. Yeah. Well, naturals are not only are naturals dead, but even pushing one turns uh, might be a little tricky. I've been having a look at the uh, the death zone supplement, Jim. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give anything away because I want to talk about it a lot on the podcast. But there's some interesting inducements coming. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. At somewhat affordable prices too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the key thing because it doesn't matter how good inducement is. Can we afford it regularly? Yeah, very interesting. Oh, I can't wait to see what this is. I'm that excited I'm going to make us a cup of tea. And maybe uh, Reed War and Peace Arse should be back uh, before the next turn, probably. <laughs> yes, for anyone that hasn't got themselves a nice comfy chair, I'd, I'd really recommend that. 
I was stood up for the first half and sat down for the second. I mean, there might be some games where we have to organise commentary in shifts. <laughs> I mean, that's what this game felt like. Uh, help four hours on, four hours off. You know, time for a quick nap before you. So we won in nine, but it doesn't matter really. No, it's it's almost irrelevant. Um, you know, the AV8 holding out nicely. Not pieces that I either particularly care about or are going to be vital to what anything does. Paul's pretty safe from a sec. Although it does open up a... I mean, it did, but we've put elves there. Um... Yeah, I, I was going to say it opened up the possibility of, of dominating the centre of the field. And he is looking to do that, to dominate the line of scrimmage. But also that first piece that moved, I think, shows us where the blitz is coming in, and that will allow a catcher into the backfield, which uh, high elves do love to do. He's very uh, aggressive, uh, Lamar. Yes. Verbally, two people he plays, from what I hear. But also in this game with his high elves. You can afford to do that when you have that one real advantage. Well, also, you haven't got the ball. You may have noticed, Puppet. Muppet. Yeah. Puppet. Puppet. You may have noticed, my little Puppet, that he hasn't got the ball. Yeah, and he really wants the ball. He wants that ball, doesn't he? Because that's how he wins the game. Yeah. Some people ignore the ball, but, you know, what do they know? They don't know how to win. Oh, I didn't expect the base there. I was expecting him to come all the way. Yes, me too. I don't know what that really achieves. I guess he has an assist next turn if for some reason this elf is still stood here. Yeah, spoiler warning. It's not going to be. <laughs> and because yes, Coffee, I, I think we are. Um, not non-committal, but very, very neutral. Uh, we strongly dislike both. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, as I've said before throughout this game, I think the coaching has been uh, been to a very high standard. It hasn't been anything I thought was terrible, but there, there's lots of things you can always think, oh, well, this is another option. Could that have been 2% better or whatever? Yeah, the uh, fail state of some turns were a bit yeah. questionable. Yeah, absolutely. But it is rough here. He didn't get the power on this budge sidestep, so he didn't get anyone past him last turn. And again, we're seeing why Frenzy can be a neg 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 skill. Yeah, because there's lots of things he could do with a strength four there, but with Frenzy, quite a lot of them are harder. Aren't they? I mean, I still don't hate using the. Uh, the mighty blow to get the blitz and then putting it in to assist the uh, the frenzy, but it's one dice though. I don't see a way. No, you can two dice off first and then use the. Uh... It can't. Yes, if it's a first action, it's a one die. But uh, if you just dodge a single piece out, which elves can usually do. But of course, no re rolls. That's also why all the super basing is going on, isn't it? Yeah, it's very scary. <sighs> Pretty much exactly what I was thinking about. It just, these blocks just get really scary now with the uh, no block on our alignment. Well, there's another piece that can dodge off and close the uh, the southwest corner of this cage, which I think he should. Now that's interesting. I would have advanced that, as I said, to uh, to make sure that the second... Ah, but where he pushed that piece to and stunned it, there's no way he could have um, assisted the strength four. Yeah, he had to push him to the left. Yeah, he did. So it's dodging off instead. Which I just think is a little bit regressive. But... 
no power here means you can't get another two dice and the guard is in a pretty good position Maybe we've pushed up too quickly. Wait. Like, I mean, I to be honest, I thought we could have pushed pushed up a little quicker. Um, there is a way to dodge off around here and still get two die on the guard if he really wants to. But a fail state on it is just awful. If you don't power, it's the end of the world. He's also trapped his own player now. He's a downed lineman. Can't two plus out. No. Which is why I, I don't hate standing it up to cancel uh, one of the assists on the catcher and then dodging this second piece through the cage and around the front to uh, provide the assist on the guard piece. But as I said, it does push it onto the edge of the cage, which is a huge worry. We just dodge off. Yeah, he sort of goes where I was thinking, except one square to the right. Um... Literally, if he'd taken one step to the left of where he is now, then that catcher could have had two die on the guard. But as I said, the fail state was pretty awful. And of course, he's staying there because the guard, he doesn't want mobile. So uh, he'll take a hit if needs be. Well, he will because the... Uh, I didn't the, die, Pedro. I was just making some food. I figured I had plenty of time and so I did. I'm just, so I'm just going <laughs> to... Eat my dinner now, probably get that finished before the next turn. <laughs> well, it was an interesting turn, Jimmy. A, a little bit defensive. I mean, he was based a lot. Um, but instead of the uh, the strength for hitting the piece and trying to put an assist in, the, the hit he did at the front of the cage put a stun next to it in such a way it was impossible to assist the strength for you know, if the first two dice were pushes. It would then have been, uh, then would have been a one die. Yeah, we saw Frenzy not hoping him again. So instead, the strength force dodged off and uh, become the back corner of this cage. Which you didn't really need? No, not really. You could have stayed up a bit, like maybe next to the, the cage corner. Could have stayed exactly where he was. Even in contact, it was fine. His blood step. <laughs> the moon. Um. Yeah, the thing is, of course, with no no rerolls for Luminous, he's just, you know, the master has just got to get his tackle on Dodgers, hasn't he? And uh, base people up, make them roll dice. That's the key thing, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it is for both. I mean, one reroll is enough that you can try and remove it. You can try and suck that one off um, with a, a fail, with, you know, just lots and lots of your tackle up in Dodgers' faces so that he hasn't got those easy moves. And then suddenly fails are imminent for both players, which uh, which does change things. We're hitting a defensive player, so both down is fine. So I mean, I I, oh, I yes, like the right. aggression here from uh, from Luminous. I just think Le Marseille is being a little bit passive. This well, could end in kicks. That move sideways last turn really didn't thrill me. I thought there was again lots of spaces to move forward had he really wanted to. Yeah, Luminous seems to like to pick a side, doesn't he? He uh, never really tries the middle a bit and then maybe pick a side later. God stop saying pick a side. I'm tempted to say some very un -PC things about the French and their military <laughs> history. Um, but I won't. <laughs> So it's a tough position now, and the strength four is no longer in a sort of rowdy position where it's causing threat. It's now slightly irrelevant. Needs to get back involved, I think. Yeah, without a guard, he's his best piece to cause trouble. Well, and to open doors as well. But yeah, causing all sorts of trouble, both aggressive and defensive troubles. And he's not doing that as the, uh, the least needed corner of a cage, is he? <laughs> this game's been measured by uh, by the rings of trees. <laughs> We're just standing up, so... It's an interesting comment, Marzen, but I've really felt time has ceased to have meaning. Haven't, haven't we been doing this... 
forever, isn't this just our life is now? We watch high health games. <laughs> of course, one of these is getting for the next round, so we're going to have to watch it again. Hello, Valley. Happy Ed. It, it's been nip and tuck, honestly. I think probably both people have done stuff mostly right, but you know, little things hit wrong here and there. Um, yeah, a little three percent, some five percent, and just occasionally, um, I feel particularly since Lamarse went uh, one nil up, he's played a little too conservative, Jim. I mean, we've already talked about Lunas didn't do anything massive wrong in the first half, but. Either that turn where the strength four based, or the turn after where he, you know, tried to defend and dodge backwards out, didn't really go far enough. But also in the second half, then I feel Luminous has sort of been fine, without really exciting me with his play, and La Marseille has played within himself and quite defensively, uh, and that led to the turnover from what you said, and it's also now leading to him, you know, genuinely heading backwards here, isn't it? Was it La Marseille who made yeah. that one nice? That was. Pretty questionable on the uh, ball when he lost it. I'm getting mixed up which one is which. God, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I was just thinking I, I can't 100% put my hand on my heart and say I know which one it was either. I mean, they all look the same, you know. And they've been coaching fairly similarly as well. Yeah. I do like getting him out there, that that was something I wanted to do, for sure. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say horrendous, Pedro, but again, it's, it's a difference in style. I'm sure what Art's saying is that there just hasn't been enough aggression towards actually scoring and winning the game by La Marseille. Uh, and that Luminous's attack, when it stalled, he didn't take that seriously enough and didn't do enough to respond. Uh, and at this level in the chalice, I think it's okay to expect a bit more than that. But then, you know, who am I to talk? I got I got banged out in a, just over an hour. <laughs> so he has his two score threats. Although this one's a GFI because of his minus movement. What a shame. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Monica. With this one match, uh, Le Marcellet and Luminous have now both been in the cup longer than um, Crucifer has ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, they've been longer than I have. I played one game, got killed by Claw, and that was it. Yeah, Space Cadet, that's, you know, I, I'm really trying to disagree with what you've just said, and I'm struggling to. I, I, as so often, whilst I may not 100% agree with your sentiments. You know, you express it well and you do know what you're saying. There, there's a lot to that, yes. Elves just exist for six turns. And then if, if wonderful things haven't happened for them, then they try and make them happen in seven and eight. And usually because they're elves, they still can. So which one are you blitzing here? You're probably blitzing a score for aren't Oh, you have to you have to blitz the catcher, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, unfortunately with elves, I mean, with any other race, you know, the catcher is the obvious one that's going to get the ball, and the other one is a distraction. Of course, being an elf, it's a distraction that is perfectly capable of still being the scorer. And at least we are finally getting, um, you know, some aggressive forward movement, some attempt to... Uh, to stretch the field, that's one thing we really haven't seen from either team. You know, elves can work fantastically along the entire length of the field. And actually, we've seen them packed up very tight together. Particularly here, if you've got the re-roll and you've got the ball, you want that field stretched out. Because that's how you create opportunities for elves. Really impossible to dominate a field if, uh, if there's elves, you know, in both backfields, in the both in the final quarter of both sides of the field, as well as in the central area. You know, you've got to be on top and dominating position in three different spots then. You know, where the ball is, where it might go to, and the person that's actually a, a throw and catch from scoring as well. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly so, Tom. Yeah, you know, Luminous has got to be super safe here, hasn't he? Uh, he is starting to run out of time now, so he's going to have to try and bust through at some point. Yeah, yeah. And if you haven't got the rerolls to do it, you need to rely on your inbuilt rerolls or your strength four pieces or, or other tools you have that can, you know, can ape that, that flexibility and that, that ability to respond to fails. Or you get your ball safe and then, you know, your other six, seven pieces can do slightly rowdier things, which with there's less cost to the fail. I, I think I bang on too much about fail states because I think it's something people just don't consider enough in Blood Bowl. Maybe. It's about, always about success. Just don't fail, PC. It's easy, isn't it? Yeah. Roll Why are you better. even failing in the first place? Well, that is a good question, but I, I've tried not failing. Uh, and I find failing and winning anyway more fun. <laughs> There are worse ways to spend a fortnight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, pretty good. So, can't really get enough fellows up here, can we? Yes, I've done one of them, Dr. Malabosco. They're called Holiday Villages. We can get there. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can get there. Ball on the sideline. Only move it's seven, only. And he can dodge there. To so I liked that. Him. Yeah, I liked that move with the strength four. It's given us some space. It's it's created somewhere to go. Still got the time. There's no there's no rush to get this done. Yeah, I'll fuck the front can two plus back. Yeah, yeah. He, he can two plus to shore yeah. it up, and then, then this yeah. guy can like come in and GFI or whatever at the end. It's a, I mean, that was a finally we've got a very spicy move there because if the two plus fails. Um, we're very exposed. Oh. oh, and it has failed. Yeah. Well, we're very exposed. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, maybe he could have just gone two back, right? And he's still kind of like, make, like, mm, he's in danger of getting surfed, though, isn't he? Problem is that. Sorry, Jim, you can tell I'm tired and it's, uh, it's been a long game. Well, mine was very short, but this has been quite long afterwards. What I should, of course, have said is the last time I left my balls this exposed, it ended up in a restraining order. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and I could never go back to that school again. Oh no! Oh, oh no, PC! No! <laughs> no! What have you done, PC? No, PC, no. No. <laughs> no. Two, What's the guard four. in the front here? Or can he not reach one, two, three? No, he's four, so GFI. He, he has to move the edge out of the way. Catch would be his. Catch her in. Catch her in, blitz with mighty blow tackle, then you've got your edge five for the recovery. Yes, and he's to yeah, absolutely. Though, so. If you don't hit with mighty blow tackle here, then then I might go a bit after this. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the recovery piece, though? This uh, edge? It would have been with me. The yeah. guard would have been the assist, and the mighty the guard blow had a tackle GFI would have been no, the, the guard, guard had a GFI, so that uh, okay. this catcher could have reached the uh, the catcher in the yeah. backfield, could have, could, have, could have stood there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I guess even hasn't. the guard can be the recovery, I guess. If you put the edge there, take the catcher down. We've got four dice on this because we've still got our reroll. <coughs> and he's going to need it as well, isn't he? Can't. Just trust that he doesn't score if you don't power him. No, this this is a power. Because elves. Yeah, he has to get yep. it, and he gets it. Got his reroll though. I'm not sure I like that direction. I think I preferred hitting him from here, so he could only sidestep. Yeah, me too. I'd have hit it with push. Because if it was four pushes, <laughs> sidestepping forwards made it very dodgy, didn't it? <laughs> That's why he didn't move him, because he knew he'd be there for the, for the yeah. inevitable scatter. We Wonderful. Just, we didn't yep. even... That's, better than, that's why he's better at high elves than I and I. Yeah. Brilliant. I mean, actually, there is an argument for that, Jim, because if you know you're hitting it uh, and it's he's going to be somewhere near the side, you can look at where those diagonals go to. You know, throwing in the ball is not random. There is only three ways it goes. You can 
you can't predict how long along those lines, but you can think, okay, it could be here or here or, or along this line. Yeah. And perhaps if I keep that catcher there, you know, if it had been either straight across or diagonally backwards, that was catcher was in a good position. Yeah, but so was the edge five, wasn't it? So yeah, yeah. I'd still have done it with the edge five to yeah, and the recover. Edge, yes, yeah, but and the edge five could have left in if it had gone to any. It's just definitely not terrible, is it? Um, no, but I'd have had the edge five to to recover, and of course there was also another catcher in the area that could have done the same recovery. So yeah, yeah, I felt that that catcher as the assist was the better move. Yeah, movement four guy not going very far. <laughs> yeah, the the pass and running up the field isn't so good when you just get caught, is it? But I think, especially with movement four. <laughs> I think I would have moved this lineman before uh, doing that dodge, but you know. Yeah, this lineman just bring him back. I think is nice, isn't it? He's keeping him oh, out there. Not really doing a lot, is he? I guess he's making a screen with, with this Roger. I guess he's not he's not he's not bad there. Do we just dodge through the plush jump and go for the two death? <sighs> yeah, it's it's not even that bad, is it? <laughs> He can um he can chain the, the strength four. This guy can come in there. He can two D him, push him to there. Then he can two D him, get him to here, and then he could have three plus two plus him. Not to him because he sidestepped. So he could have three plus two plus with the strength four. Yep. Yeah, I like that. He's moved this tackle already, so that is pretty much off the table. I think he's just going to go for the dodges. That's what it looks like. From... Oh, he's just going to blitz this random dude instead. What the... Okay. Isn't he 3 plus 2 plus now at the end? Like... What the deuce? I mean, I think it's about getting his pieces back active and then yeah. looking to challenge next turn, but... Yeah. It could be too late next turn. Yeah, absolutely. But now neither side's got re-rolls. So... <laughs> that's changed things again, hasn't it? Oh, Jim, I'm looking forward to the glorious and entirely meaningful animations of a penalty kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the power save makes things a bit harder, I guess. Yeah, do you know what would have made them harder still? Taking his ball away. <laughs> well, that too, but you know. But yeah. I mean, it's it's not a bad state to have put yourself in. I mean, he's he's got some nice pieces active in the backfield. There is a screen around the, the halfway line, which is going to be fairly hard for the elves to get forward through. Uh, they need to make loads of ground if they are going to score and not go to kicks. But, I mean, they've got lots of lodge pieces that aren't on tackle. And 3 1 in 36 fails, and the elf that's not based, and you can reasonably easily have a nice case of cage around the halfway line. Mm. And now he's freed another elf. So, yeah, I. No, he didn't follow. He's moving four. He needs to follow. He needs all the movement he can get. Point <laughs> four, Elf. Blimey. So depressing, isn't it? If he gets knocked down, he can only move one square. Okay, <laughs> this is... This is the least we could do. You know when someone says, well, it's the least I could do. Yeah, this really is the least he could do. Um, because the problem here is that the catcher now needs to make two turns of absolutely max move. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be very safe. I mean, it's kind of not dissimilar to uh, to what Luminous did. It's very safe, but probably not quite enough. Not game winning. Mm. <laughs> maybe not. We'll, we'll I mean, see. Maybe, there's still, yeah, there's still not. time. There's still time. It's oh, it puts the catch up though. He can hand off and get upfield. Yeah. That so was this incredible, Kerb. <laughs> Could like dodge out, couldn't he? I mean, the the one huge advantage, obviously, that uh, 
that Le Marseille has here is if he can develop even two scoring threats, and it looks like that is what he's trying to do, then in the final turn he can throw a pass to nothing, and if it works, Harari's won, if it doesn't, he goes to kicks. So yeah. that's probably why he's thinking very safety-minded here, is that the, the fail state in terms of the game is a 50-50 kicks. Yes. I would have preferred those kicks if we still had that reroll. <laughs> yeah, he had to put in the last reroll, though, didn't he? Yeah. But if we still had that reroll, he'd have had the ball, and a not, I mean, for elves, not particularly difficult to score. So yeah. that would have been yeah. a good game. I don't know what he used the first two rerolls on, but yeah. It really is, Ducky, yes. <laughs> I think, oh, it, well, he used. Uh, again, I can't remember which one. I know one of them used a reroll on the uh, one dice that we all hated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah if you'd yeah, done the right thing there. That. You'd have still had a re-roll, yeah. I wouldn't say it's gone well over the two-hour mark. I'd say it's gone awfully over the two-hour mark. I think it's probably not the words I choose. <laughs> Your game wasn't half as long. <laughs> no, depressingly. <laughs> yeah, it was remarkably similar to my game versus K Fog in the, you know, his his one turning Wood Elves, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was what it was, Jim. I, you know, did the best I could do. Yeah. I'm not fine with it. Can do, is there? Just, the, oh. like, that's it. There's just not a lot you can do against. I thought my defence against the one term was about as good as I could think of. Like I said, if you swap the stand firms to the back corners, the one he pushed, he could do exactly the same thing because he had the juggernaut still alive. Yeah. Um, and at least it, you know, it was slightly easier than just putting three on the line and, and back walling. Yeah made him work slightly more because as I said a really deep kick that he couldn't have got that gutter in would have prevented it or the KO staying out would have prevented it so I took my shots I did what I knew how to do and it didn't work and that's blah blah yeah. oh, glorious buzzer thank you very much buzzer buzzer I, not why understanding attacking the front of this cage no. in a way that doesn't seem to achieve anything. Also, a double score stand means these three players are doing nothing. Okay, what it does achieve, um, it means that that catcher is now not doing two turns of max movement to score, but then I never felt that looked like the plan anyway. Yeah, once you move people at field, that wasn't... No, I always felt the plan was I'm going to keep this ball till the very last turn and then we'll launch it at someone and see if I get lucky to win and if not, it's 50-50. So I think if you're blitzing anything there that isn't the scoring threats up at the front, I think it has to be a corner of the cage. Doesn't it? Also, it's turn 23 and if he doesn't have a score for it himself, like he doesn't now, Lamar doesn't care anymore. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, so, yes, now you can launch. You don't even have to wait for your turn 24, do you? Because Very good point, yeah. If you free lose roll. the ball, who cares? He's absolutely free-rolling at this point. Yep. I'm just checking. I mean, even the closest thing is still two, three pushes away, so it's, yeah, it's, it's horrific. And literally just one irrelevant elf... Any one of these naked linemen, for example, just a few spaces further forwards, and it completely changes uh, how the Marseille thinks about this turn. Yep. That right did do a lot, though, losing a turn. Yeah, it did, yeah. Yeah. So I think now this catcher, uh, he just tried to score on this catcher, don't you? He's got one lateral movement available to him to get in and get in scoring range. Yeah. I think so you can try and get. Just engineer something where he just got dodges through. Wait, come to the right here. Come to the right. Well, I mean, you, because you've got so many beautiful options, yes, now potatoing, even potatoing that catch is fine. Yeah. Particularly if you've developed another couple of scoring threats in case he, he does get sacked. You've still got the chance to recover the ball and throw it at someone. Yeah. But it's, it's sort of a beautiful position to be in. There is no lose here. Yeah. I mean, there obviously is, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, right now. Use our guard, man. Might have blitzed with this guy, but I guess he's got a wrestle. But then he doesn't need wrestles, does he? Oh, he wrestled him. Wait. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> he wrestled him. <laughs> he wrestled him. <laughs> 
did he forget or something? I guess he did forget, yeah. Ooh. I guess we're just dodging through then. Yeah, yeah, dodge through is fine, isn't it? And he, he can afford to go one. He can afford to move laterally one square. So I would have moved the ball carrier through before the, the other two, to be fair, but never mind. It is Team Ant Taylor, yeah, it is. Uh, moving four can almost help with this. Uh, oh, yeah, hugely so, Team This wrestler who's stuck. He's kind of made a mistake with his catcher, though, right? Because now, if, if he hadn't moved, put that catcher there, he could have put the ball carrier catcher there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he could have literally put this catcher further up, ball carrier catcher there, then he hits, and then everything looks so much better. But now he's just going to have to stand out here like an idiot. I also liked this mighty blow Great being where the ball carrier is. Hate this. I don't, Hate what, that. what the hell are we... Okay. You've got to get gonna... Max move forward with him, haven't you? You just have to. Yeah, like, I felt so. But, and then block, we're moving backwards and blocking with one of our scoring threats. I mean, I know we've got others. Okay, and we're, we're dodging off after that. Right. I thought I didn't. The blitz hadn't activated for me. I thought it was just a block. It's still horrible, though, isn't it? I hate that. I hate that. They, they should have been the other way around, shouldn't they? The ball carrier and the, the other guy. Oh, definitely. I mean, there's a. I mean, despite saying he's got a hit to nothing here, he's. I don't like a lot of what we've seen this turn. It's still likely to work because he's in such a great position that it doesn't matter hugely, but. He's given himself the handoff 100%, whereas he could have got rid of it entirely. Well, more to the point, he's, he's given lots of sack options to the opposition that I didn't feel they really needed to be there. But as I said, even if that happens, you're still going to have scoring threats and you can still take it back. So it's still probably going to be all right. But I felt there was better could have been done. Sidestep so means he moves one forward, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he's still one GFI away with one movement forward. So you just go for the four plus dodge in with, with dodge. It's not terrible, is it? No. Or you could do it with Frenzy, but Frenzy's not as good as Tackle, is it? So. You can. Especially with sidesteps, then you get two squares for the close at the end. So. I thought there was more wrestlers than this, but apparently on this self team, there's not any other self team. Is. No, we're just blitzing a score for it. Who's in scoring okay. threat? He what he was. <laughs> now he's not. Yeah, that helps. We put tackle on the other one. He's a scoring threat. I quite liked hitting the ball because, having said, he's it was um, you know very recoverable actually with that that catcher right nearby and the such easy assist. We had a spare elf that almost wherever it went, we had some chance of getting hold of it ourselves. But the sidestep, of course, does make that very tricky. It would have sidestepped between all of those elves, the one we just removed and the two that are near it standing up. And then obviously the ball's definitely going to fall into an elf tackle zone. So perhaps this is okay. Do Maybe. we even hit the one in front or do we just get something out in front of it? I mean, it's sidestep. I kind of don't want to hit it at all. Yeah, I think just something out in front of it, maybe. Among Us after this for an hour, yes, I'll probably. You can run all the way around and do the 3 plus handoff, 2 plus dodge at the moment. Maybe not, maybe just go straight to the pre sure wank. <laughs> this has lasted a long old time, hasn't it? No any good jokes, Jimmy? No. There you go, Pedro. Pedro hands. I do know Have one, they... I do know a good joke. Who knock knock. Who's that? Doctor. Doctor Who. How did you know? Knock knock. Who's there? Europe. Europe who? Well not I think that's a bit uncalled for. I'm just trying to be your friend and do some commentary. <laughs> 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 I 
having been a parent a long time now, most of my jokes are dad jokes. He has made this hard for me. Yep. Yeah, so what's the play? You can 2D him. Easily, can't he? And then just go for a 4 plus handoff. And then 3 plus away from tackle into a 2 plus. Like, so even if he just does the worst things possible, <laughs> it's still like decent odds of scoring. Still probably going to be alright, because elves. Yeah, and then if he thinks at all, he can find something better. <laughs> <laughs> there was better, though, Jimmy. This. This didn't have to be quite this tough, surely. I say tough. Quite this, not as childlike in simplicity as elves usually have things. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't think he gave himself any favours last time. No. Yeah, he could just 2D this guy and then uh, run around and pass it to this guy in the end zone. Yep. 3 3 2 2. C'est un super match jusque là. Le rythme s'est un peu ralenti, mais ça va reprendre de plus belle d'une seconde à l'autre. Just trying to find a way to get the guard in, but he's a bit out of it at the moment. <sighs> Please make this end. Please. <laughs> Please. Touch. <laughs> Turn it off and not care about what happens. We'll just go and do something else. <laughs> uh, that would have been an idea about a, you know about an hour and a half ago. PC. <laughs> the irony of doing it now in turn twenty-four would just be glorious on some level. <laughs> Shut the stream down. Everyone just goes and does something else. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we've got an idea. Oh. <laughs> oh. So he is doing this 2D. It's just a bush though, that was kind of shit, but I guess. It was kind of shit, yeah. The plan or the... <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's going for the 1D there. So no matter what, we have to dodge off. <coughs> yeah. Well, so oh, why didn't three. he follow? Ugh. Where's uh, the follow? No, no, he's he's made follow. he doesn't want to follow because he's doing three, that. 3, yeah. 3, 2. That's right. And yet yeah, L, so. Five. Yeah. And another 2, 2, and all fine. He <laughs> fought for about two minutes, then just. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so a high elf made it into the uh, next round. Yeah, yeah. surprisingly. <laughs> surprisingly, high elf progressed. <laughs> wasn't as good as the Camry Mirror, but we'll get there. Yeah, good job. No. Good job. High elves live till like they're about a thousand years old, so they were able to finish that match. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that happened. <laughs> there you go. Well, we got through it. Yeah, <laughs> we did it, chat. We did. We survived. I feel, I feel like I do about my yearly taxes. It had to be done, and we got there eventually. <laughs> if you watch this whole YouTube video, you're insane. <laughs> we can get our medals. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we, we, need, we need to go to our expert, resident expert space cadet to see if scoring there was a good idea. <laughs> Get your blue Peter badge eventually. <laughs> right, anyway, thank you very much, Purple Chest. Thank you very much, Bumpet Pac Man. Oh, goodbye, my sanity. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.